Striker Scorpion 82 is now sponsored by Warhammer Combat Cards, a card battle game featuring your favourite Citadel miniatures from the 40k universe. Build your army decks, dominate opponents in player versus player action, collect and upgrade cards to fit your strategy, improve their power and unlock unique traits. Choose from all 40k factions, take part in campaigns based on iconic 40k battles, rise to the top of the leaderboard and win glory. Free to download and play, link is in the video description below or on the channel homepage and by using the unique link it helps support the channel. Thanks and enjoy the game. Welcome to another episode of Warhammer 40,000. It's 2,000 points. It is the Thousand Suns Chaos Space Marines versus Space Wolves. All right, so welcome to this 2,000 points game. Thousand Suns Chaos Space Marines versus Space Wolves. This is a league battle for our Season 8 uh, games. And if you check out the league on the Plus channel, it's free for everyone to see. Uh, you can uh, check the progress of all the armies and see how well they're performing. Uh, this potential, this battle here, uh, is potentially the, the fight for the top spot in the league at the moment. So both armies have been performing well. So far, there's three games to play for both sides. Thousand Sons have played two, and they've won both. And the same with the Space Wolves as well. They've had a very good run uh, so far in the season. And they've actually won both of their games as well. So this is the third and final game uh, in the qualifying stage. Uh, so a lot at stake here. Reckon, well, both armies reckon they're going to go through, uh, but a lot of pride at stake here to see who will be the victor in this fight. So, and there's also the potential for either of these armies, if they get enough victory points, to jump ahead of the Drakari and actually go to the very top of the channel. So the way we're going to run this fight, I'm going to take command of the Thousand Suns. I've run them uh, so far, and then I was planning to take command of the Space Wolves, but Aaron Allen has been using the Space Wolves in the previous games. He's enjoyed using them, and he's led them well, uh, achieving some great victories. So we're going to stick at, at that arrangement. Aaron Allen will take command of the Space Wolves, and I'm going to run this Thousand Suns list just here. So the structure for this Thousand Suns army is double battalion and a spearhead battle forged. So 14 command points, minus one extra point for uh, taking an extra wall or trait, then minus another point for taking an extra relic. So 12 command points available for the Thousand Suns in this game. So the battalions then, two HQ choices. Uh, so I've named them here, they're Exalted Sorcerers. It's Beaker, the one with the beak. The one with the chicken wing, I've called chicken wing, uh, as, and they've got warp flame pistols, and then the staff, the staves for each of those. Prescience and temporal manipulation for beaker. Uh, Glamour of Zinch and Weaver of Fates for chicken wing. So that's the two HQs. And then for troops, three units of ten Zangors. Uh, they're all equipped with Zangor blades. And then that's Cult of Time, uh, is their cult for them. Then... Uh, it's Cold of Time's excellent, it's the ability to restore models uh, with the bonus psychic power that's available from them. And then Sorceress Arcana, the Hourglass of Manette, uh, very useful as well. It's a chance for a model to resurrect uh, once it's been slain. I've given that to the Dim Prince. The second battalion is the Dim Prince, uh, Twin Malefic Talons, uh, and then Wings for him. 
as Treason of Zinch and Gaze of Fate is his two psychic powers, then the second HQ is as Araman on the disc, Infernal Gaze, Death Hex and Zinch's Firestorm available for him. Then the three troops, two units of Chaos Cultists, uh, so just equipped with auto pistols and chainsaws for those two units of ten cultists. And then finally uh, a unit of ten Rubik Marines here uh, with the Inferno Bolters uh, then one of them with a Soul Reaper Cannon, and then the Aspiring Sorcerer with the Stave and Warp Flame Pistol. Doom Bolt is his psychic power. Uh, then in with those two battalions, and part of the Cult of Time is two units of uh, Scarab Occult Terminators, two units of five uh, with Power Swords, and then the Inferno Combi Bolters. Uh, there's a Hellfry Missile Rack for each of those squads, a Soul Reaper Cannon for each of those squads, and then the Aspiring Sorcerer uh, with... Uh, the stave for each of those and again the psychic power for both of those is doom bolt then finally the spearhead detachment three maul of fiends here all with lasher tendrils and the maul of fiend fists and, and then uh, an exalted sorcerer on a disc so his nickname disco inferno uh, diabolic strength and warp time uh, are his two psychic powers and it's a different cult for that spearhead it's the cult of magic here so I've taken uh, the warlord trait paid the extra command point for that so when this warlord manifests a psychic power inflicts one or more mortal wounds on an enemy unit increase the number of mortal wounds inflicted on that unit by one uh, it's just making it a little bit more deadly of his psychic powers he's got access to astral blast which is uh, the ability to cause d3 mortal wounds and then it overflows into other units nearby and then i've also given him an extra relic uh, the arcane focus which is plus one to the total for psychic tests just to make him a bit more reliable uh, with it when he attempts to manifest uh, psychic powers so perhaps one to watch out for during the game quite a potent psyker uh, is disco inferno so the other relic is the hourglass of manat it's been put on the demon prince uh, when he is slain uh, he'll resurrect uh, back onto the board so that's the list here for the Thousand Sons. They have done well. They've defeated one foe after the next. But do they have the ability to take on uh, and defeat the Space Wars? We'll have to see. Space Wars have been performing very, very well. Perhaps come as a bit of a surprise. Uh, we haven't seen them too much on the channel. But they really have burst onto the scene now for our Season 8 games. And finally, uh, if you're aware of the lore for Warhammer 40,000, this is one of the classic matchups here uh, as these two sides prepare to battle. We'll take a look now at what the Space Wolves have in their list. Alright, so 2,000 points of Space Wolves here. Uh, Aaron Allen, very happy to take command of them here in this fight. Before I run through the list, just mention the Patreons. Uh, so at gold level, Alex Stillwell, Andrew Swan, Marcus Anthony, Luke Schrengel, Nicholas Lucas, Paul Cook and Will Wright as well. So big thanks to them for their support at gold level. Uh, you can check out the end credits for all of those supporting at silver level. And thanks also to those supporting at bronze. The Patreon page for Striker Scorpion 82, all of the proceeds go straight to my local War Games Club. SSWG. Uh, we use their terrain for a lot of our games, especially Apocalypse Battle Reports, and so I've set that up as a way to help support the club, and they use the funds uh, for new and exciting terrain projects. So this is the revamped list here for the Space Wolves. Uh, so it is Battleforged, a double battalion. Bjorn the Fell Handed grants an extra command point and then there's an Outrider detachment as well. So 15 command points now for the Space Wolves and then minus one for the extra relic being taken. So the first battalion here, uh, two HQ choices. Uh, Bjorn the Fell Handed, uh, Twin Laz Cannon uh, is the firepower option available for him. Uh, and then Canis Wolfborn as well, just over on this side, uh, is the second HQ choice. Uh, for troops, two units uh, of Grey Hunters, two units of six. Within each of those units, one of the squad members has a plasma gun. There is a Terminator buried inside each of these infantry units here uh, with a power sword and then also a storm bolter. Uh, the third troop's choice is a unit of blood claws, a unit of seven, and again a terminator buried inside that unit uh, with a power axe and storm bolter for him. The rest are equipped with bolt pistols and chainsaws. 
Then the second battalion, uh, two of the newly painted up models here. So an Iron Priest here with the hammer and the Hellfrost pistol. Uh, he has taken as a relic the armor of Russ, so that's granting him a four plus in fun save just to protect him uh, a bit more during battle. And then there is the Ulrich the Slayer model uh, being taken as the second HQ choice for troops. Three units of seven blood claws, a terminator again buried inside each of these squads. Uh, so two two of these terminators have the twin frost claws, and then the third uh, terminator inside this squad has a thunder hammer and storm shield. Uh, then, as part of those uh, battalions, there is also a unit of wolfen, uh, thunder hammer, storm shield for two of the models. The squad leader has the twin frost claws, and then there's uh, the great frost axe on. Uh, two of those models as well. The Outrider Detachment is led by the Warlord, so uh, it is as a Wolf Lord on a Thunderwolf mount, uh, 3 plus in one save for his Storm Shield, and he's equipped with a Thunder Hammer. The Warlord trait for him is Saga of the Wolfkin, uh, so it grants himself plus one attack. If he slays five enemies during the game, uh, then that becomes an, a six inch aura, so he'll grant it to other units within six inches. He's also got a relic, the Wolfen's Stone, uh, so himself and Space Wolves units within three inches we granted an extra attack. Uh, then to make up that out Outrider Detachment, one unit of Fenrisian Wolves, just to make up the third slot. Uh, and then uh, two units of Thunderwolf Cavalry, two units of three. Uh, Storm Shield uh, and Chainsword for two of the models, and then Storm Shield and Power Axe for uh, the other squad member, the squad leader. So that is the list here for the Space Wolves. They've done very well here. It's come as quite a su pleasant surprise here to see the Space Wolves making uh, a bounce back onto the channel and to see them performing well has been a great thing. They've uh, certainly caused some upsets so far, uh, defeating uh, some quite potent armies so far. But they're up against the Thousand Suns now. Uh, we'll see how well they do. So much of the Space Wolf, about 90% of the Space Wolf's army has been painted on commission by Seed Studios. So you can check them out at seedstudios.co.uk for your own uh, painting commission work. Uh, there's a link in the description below. And then during the game, uh, during the musical interludes, I'll zoom in and there'll be a chance for you to have a closer look uh, at these models. That is the lists here. The army's ready to go. We'll take a look at scenario and deployment next. Okay, so we have a scenario for this mission. Uh, we've gone to Chapter Approved 2019. Mission number three for Maelstrom of War. Its critical objective is the name of the mission. It's just following the usual rules uh, for Maelstrom of War, uh, Chapter Approved 2019. The six uh, objectives on the board. Uh, Vanguard Strike is the deployment. Thousand Sons have chosen to be the defenders, so uh, we selected to go in this corner here after the map was randomised, and then the Space Wolf deployment uh, is across here. That's the zone uh, that Aaron would deploy his army in. There's a central line of dice run diagonally. Uh, 12 inches back from that is the edge of the Thousand Suns deployment zone, and then 12 inches back from here uh, is the Space Wolf deployment zone. Uh, so the objectives have been numbered here. Uh, objective number five uh, is this canister just here. It's just in the middle uh, of no man's land then across here objective number three just this terminator on the throne on this upper level uh, just outside the thousand suns deployment zone tucked inside their deployment zone is objective number one just marked by the cat here from the space Wolf, uh, space hulk game uh, then another objective just inside the thousand suns deployment zone that's objective number four uh, just marked by that teleport homer i go around the other side and you can see the other two objectives so this is the, the view that the Space Wolves have. Plenty of line of sight blocking terrain in this game. Just outside the deployment zone, the Fallen Terminator there uh, is objective number two. And then there's one other objective. It's in no man's land here. It's objective number six. So definitely an incentive for the Space Wolves to push forwards here. Thousand Suns have more objectives in their zone. Uh, so uh, expecting Space Wolves to attack anyway, but a big incentive for them as most of the objectives are in this direction. Uh, so the usual rules then for Maelstrom of War, uh, it's a selected deck, we go through our deck and pick out cards uh, and form our own deck from that. Uh, and then uh, the special rule here 
is critical objective at the start of each player's turn before putting any tactical objectives into play. That player can select one tactical objective card from their discard pile and shuffle it back into their objective deck. So you're going through your discarded cards and you can select one of those tactically, one you think you might be able to fulfill, and then put it back into uh, the deck. So that's really the only twist here to this scenario. Slay the Wall of First Strike and Line Breaker also available in this mission. Uh, the defenders are going to deploy second hit, so the Space Wolves will deploy first and they will go first unless the Thousand Sons choose to try and seize the initiative. We're going to deployment now for both of these armies. Right, so just to mention the battle mats and terrain that we're using in this game. So the battle mat is from gamemat.eu, 6x4 uh, in size, rolls out nice and flat, and then simply put the terrain on top and then some uh, stones and scrub just to blend the whole thing in. Uh, the terrain, uh, I'm using the industrial terrain set here. That's this larger building I've added on my own uh, walkway here. Uh, and then these buildings uh, here as well, it's from the industrial terrain set from gamemat.eu as well, they supply pre-painted uh, sets of terrain. Uh, so you can check them out for supplies of terrain and battle mats as well. And then for this game, I'm also using uh, MDF Terrain here. It's from madgamingterrain.com. Uh, so these buildings here, the walkways, they're all magnetised. You can link them all together. And the buildings are stackable as well. It's from the Hablock range. Uh, so you can check out Mad Gaming Terrain for your supplies of MDF uh, Terrain for your games as well. All right, so deployment's complete here for both sides. Thousand Suns uh, deploying second uh, in reaction to the Space Wolves. Uh, so I think we'll cover the Space Wolves deployment first. So not knowing how the Thousand Suns would deploy, uh, Aaron's uh, put his entire army out here. So apart from one unit that has gone into reserve, we'll cover that in just a moment, uh, one unit of Grey Hunters on top of the building here just to lay down some covering fire. On this flank, it's going to be an infantry and dreadnought attack. Uh, looks a, a bit like a pincer manoeuvre taking place here. So blood claw units, one, two, three units here, a fourth unit uh, just here, and then a Grey Hunter squad again to provide some cover. Uh, for terrain here, infantry units uh, wholly inside the Admech terrain here uh, will receive the benefit of cover. So this unit here uh, being granted cover. Uh, and then we'll play the craters, the usual rules uh, there. So it's going to slow mo movement for... Uh, it's going to slow charges for units trying to charge through. Uh, and then infantry units entirely within the crater will get the benefit of cover as well. And then the other terrain... Uh, so these containers and buildings are just going to play as line of sight blocking terrain. Uh, so Ulrich the Slayer, the Iron Priest, and all three Dreadnoughts clustered together here. So uh, Venerable Dreadnought, Murderfang, uh, and then Bjorn the Fell Handed as well. So I, I don't think I covered these in the army introduction. So uh, the Venerable Dreadnought here has the Blizzard Shield and Fenrisian Great Axe uh, and a Stormbolter. Uh, Stormbolter here on Murderfang. That's the character Dreadnought. And then Bjorn the Fell Handed. I think I covered him. He does have the twin uh, Laz Cannon as his war gear. So an infantry and Dreadnought push on this left-hand flank. And then on the right-hand side, it's going to be a cavalry attack. So a cavalry attack with no horses though, it's all wolves here. Fenrisian wolves out the front, perhaps to absorb some smite. Uh, two units uh, of uh, the Thunderwolf cavalry, uh, and then just behind them, uh, Canis Wolfborn, and also the Wolf Lord here uh, with his uh, Storm Shield and Thunder Hammer. So that's the deployment here. Uh, strength on both flanks here for the Space Wolves, an aggressive deployment, deploying right up to the edge of their deployment zone. So, Thousand Suns is not really holding back too much. They are, uh, most units at the edge of the deployment zone are close enough to it. On this flank, to match the cavalry, we deployed second. And to match this cavalry attack, three Mauler Fiends have deployed. Uh, Disco Inferno uh, just behind them to coordinate their attack or counter-attack. And then just to act uh, as a shield here just to cover the back door, I've deployed a unit of Zangors to follow up just behind. Uh, you can see the Chaos Cultists here, the two units just on screening duty at the back. Uh, because Aaron does have one unit in reserve, yes, yeah, the Wolfen uh, here. They're off the board. Aaron's played the outflank card on those. So they can turn up on any board edge uh, turn two or turn three. So just to make sure we don't leave the back door open here, uh, it's screening duty at the back here for these Chaos Cultist units. Uh, in the centre, quite a lot of psychic might here. So the Rubik Marines on top of this building, uh, and then Chicken Wing and Beaker, and then Araman himself 
uh, just on top of this building. Unit has angles just tucked behind. Unit has angles just behind the containers here. Uh, the option was to put the terminators into deep strike, but we hold as uh, most of the objectives are in our direction. So I'm going to deploy the terminators here uh, to act as a, a, a wall here as the space walls uh, advance towards them. So one unit on top of the containers, another unit making use of the crater. And then on the right hand side is the warlord. So it's the demon prince. Uh, with the malefic talons and wings. That is the deployment done. Thousand Suns have all of their units on the board here uh, as they prepare for the Space Wolves attack. So we're just standing back here looking at the models whilst they're all on the table <laughs> because I don't know how long they're going to last here. Uh, Thousand Suns, a uh, nasty psychic ability that they have uh, with this list and some units that can fight in close combat. Space Wolves, uh, if you get locked in their jaws uh, it can be devastating, as has been seen in the previous Space Wolves battle reports. We'll go on to uh, tactics and battle plan now for both sides. Alright, so tactics and battle plan for the Thousand Suns. I think it's obvious the Space Wolves are going to go uh, right for the jugular here and attack uh, our position. We do hold the weight of the objectives so that's why i put the terminators on the board just to lay down a blanket of firepower as the space wolves push forwards uh, so you the usual strategy to deal with uh, the same as with other armies that's to try and keep the psychers alive for as long as possible and dish out as much smite and psychic damage as possible so uh, more of just to tie up the cavalry attack on this flank i think we have the ability uh, to do that uh, and then behind the screen here of Terminators, Rubik Marines, and then counter uh, attacking Zangles, just dish out as much psychic damage as possible. And hopefully that'll be enough to blunt the Space Wolf attack and then ultimately to push it back. That's the plan. And then to keep an eye out for the Wolf and just a screen at the back here and wait for them to turn up. But uh, it's just a grinding process as per usual uh, with the Thousand Suns and hopefully that'll work here against the Space Wolves. That's my plan and tactics at least. Uh, we'll let Aaron uh, come back into the room here and he'll run through his battle plan of how he plans to try and defeat the Thousand Suns in this game. Okay, so the tactics for the Space Wolves then. Um, as Luke mentioned, um, the two units of Grey Hunters are going to stay up top here and try to provide some covering fire for the Space Wolves advance. Um, as I've done in previous games, I've split the army into two halves. The th cavalry on one side and the infantry and dreadnoughts on the other that has worked out well in the past so the intention is basically to advance as quickly as we can towards the enemy and engage them in combat it's a fairly simple battle plan but it's one that the space wolves do pretty well all right so that's the plan for both sides aaron doesn't know my plan uh, i don't know his but you the viewers uh, know both of the plans so we'll see uh, how well it goes for both of us here. We're just admiring the, the setup here. It's great to see these two armies finally matched up. Space Wolves and Thousand Suns. We'll go on to the first turn. So, Aaron will go first. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i try and see his initiative. I think this, I think it'll do no harm. Or maybe it will. See, <laughs> roll the dice. No, certainly not. We've rolled a one. So the, uh, the uh, Space Wolves will go first here. Turn one, coming up. That's the battle begins.
Okay, so we're on turn one. Here's No Man's Land across here. Uh, it won't be No Man's Land for much longer. I think the space walls are about to move. Uh, so cards being drawn. Uh, so Aaron's drawn five cards and then he's put three into play. Uh, one's kept secret. We'll know what that is if and when it's achieved. Mission critical objective has come up and that's objective number one. And that is that objective across there. So it's well inside uh, the Thousand Suns deployment zone. And then secure objective number two. Where is two? Oh, it's doable. Look, it's down here where that Terminator is. So uh, that can be a card potentially that could be picked up here this turn. All right, we'll let Aaron make his moves here with the Space Wars. All right, so movement's complete here. Uh, pretty much the entire line has gone forwards here. Uh, apart from Bjorn, he's held position for now, at least at the back, just to maximise with his firepower. The two other Dreadnoughts have pushed forwards. As uh, Iron Priest has gone up with them. This squad's pushed forwards and no doubt will be in range now to lay down some firepower. As Blood Claws have shifted round onto this objective. Round here, blood claws. These are all advanced moves made here. Yeah, pushing forwards with these units. In amongst them uh, is Ulrich the Slayer. This squad on top has remained. Uh, push forward slightly. Push yeah, forward. okay, just to gain a few extra inches for range. And then over on the right hand flank, the cavalry uh, pushing forwards. Uh, six inches rolled for the Fenrisian Wolves and the lead unit of Thunderwolf Cavalry. Two characters pushing up behind. And this squad rolled a bit less. And they've swung around on the extreme right hand side. So, as predicted, a general advance across the line and the two flanks pushing forwards. We'll go straight on to shooting phase now for the Space Wolves on turn one. Okay, so the initial firepower is going to come from on top of that building. Uh, Grey Hunter's going to fire into the Rubik Marines just here. Uh, that's why Aaron pushed forwards. He's uh, tried to get better range and more models able to shoot. So, uh, seven bolter shots including the strong bolter? Yes. Yeah, it's no minuses here, uh, so threes for hits, fours for wounds. Three. Okay, three make it through. Uh, so it's two plus cover, and then also all his dust. He's got one. He's brought one down. Um, yeah, I don't think we'll let it go. It'll come through, so we'll lose one of the Rubik Marines. I was tempted to come on re-roll that just for the psychological aspect and pride here of the Thousand Suns, but uh, one of the Chaos Space Marines drops limp to the ground. The first casualty in this battle, not the last. <laughs> uh, plasma? Plasma, yes. Not going to supercharge, yeah, take no. it. Threes for a hit. Threes for a wound. Minus three on this one. Uh, it's one damage, though, isn't it? So... Uh, I'll roll up here and see what we get. Two, no, that's not going to be enough. So another Rubik Marine brought down. Good result. Right, interesting, the other squad, Grey Hunters, supporting fire is going to come from them. Uh, and again, they're going to go into the Rubik Marines just here. Good target choice, there's an expensive unit. Bolters. Yeah, bolter firepower threes. And then again, fours for wounds. Uh, just a two. Two make it through, two up saves this time. Guy's ah, got another one. Ah, this is casualty starting to mount here. Uh, just, yeah. I'm saving my command points, we'll leave it. So now I've got psychic potential to restore models to play. So we'll let that casualty go through. Surprising the amount come through here. Plasma. Hits. Hits. This could be another one. Wins. Six is a win, this is very good. Four. I, I'll just check the modifiers here. No, I reckon that's a pass. Uh, it's minus three is a six up, uh, and then plus two. One for cover, one for all his dust, because it's only damage one. So four, just about, is a pass there. So it blocks that one from coming through. Okay. There's Storm Bolters on some of the Dreadnoughts if they haven't advanced. I know they haven't. Okay, so yeah, more firepower available here. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron's going to join the two together. They, both of these Dreadnoughts, uh, the Venerable Dreadnought and Murder Fang, have not advanced. Yeah, Aaron's rolled up there and has got a load of hits it And falls to wind. Not bad. Uh, it's five. So he knows the target to go after here. Dole passed here for all his dust. Yeah, we're okay. So no further casualties coming through. Okay, so Bjorn can see through to this smaller fiend. So here it comes. Two hits. This is twin last cannon shots. Threes to wound here at strength nine. Ah, oh, no, one and two. Well, I'm going to re-roll. Come on, re-roll. Here it comes. 
Yeah, four's good enough. Uh, five plus invun save. Yes, it's passed. <laughs> okay. All right, so the shot bounces off the invun save here of this infernal engine. Uh, shooting phase finished. Done. Charges. No. Cards to trade in here. Uh, so secure objective two. So Picked up, okay. So both sides very much interested in annihilating each other, but the victory is decided by the number uh, of objectives achieved and the final score in victory points. So as both sides need to keep a steady flow uh, of cards being achieved and points coming in. But we've seen the start here from the Space Wolves, heading towards the Thousand Suns line. We're going to turn one now for the Chaos Space Marines. Okay, so on turn one uh, here, interesting uh, cards being drawn. So I've got a secret card that's been put in play. Uh, priority orders received. This is for the Warlord. Uh, just from the cards that I had, uh, I, I've put secure objective number five. The Warlord's here. Objective five is all the way across here. He does have wings, so he could make it, and it's going to be worth four points here. So I may well go for relocation with him. As... Uh, and then overwhelming firepower is the other, so destroying uh, units in the shooting phase, which is quite possible. So it's not too bad, good chance here of picking up some points. And if he makes the journey across the board uh, and doesn't get too distracted, uh, there's four points available for the Warlord. So uh, that's the cards. We'll go on to movement phase now for the Thousand Suns on turn one. Okay, so movement's taken place here. Uh, 15 inches in total after an advanced move made by him. So he's, he's going across the board here, flying along the back lines. Uh, he's happy enough just to leave the Terminator line. It hasn't moved, sat where it is, uh, ready to lay down a blanket of firepower here uh, at the Space Wolves. Uh, slight readjustment here. We've now claimed objective number three by moving some of the Rubik Marines up uh, and then uh, just repositioning these psychers all sticking together. Haven't brought those angles out yet. They'll just hide for now. Then across here, uh, we're going to get an early fight on this flank. Uh, here, so three Mortal Fiends pushing through, poised to charge. Zangor's forming a screen around Disco Inferno. Uh, so... Uh, lined up here for an early encounter on this flank. Movement is done. We'll go on to Psychic Phase next for the Thousand Suns on turn one. Okay, so we'll start here. I usually start with the Dim Prince uh, Gaze of Fate, first of all, to try and make that go off. Uh, it's a six required, and that's been successful. So that's just a reroll at some point during the turn. Comes in handy enough. And then we've checked the range already. Range 24 for Smite for Thousand Suns, just about in range of that Blood Claws unit across that flank. And it goes off on a 7. And it's D3 Mortal Wounds. Three Mortal Wounds. Ouch. The Smite process has begun. Three Space Wars brought down. All right, so we're all time flux here. Uh, so that's going to come from uh, the actual Aspiring Sorcerer himself. Needing a five, and it's a six. I could come on reroll here because I get D3 models back, but we'll keep it as it is. I think. Yeah, no, we'll leave it. We'll restore one model to play. Okay, now next, Psyker, uh, Beaker here. We're going to cast Smite. Uh, we'll do that in just a moment. We'll do Prescience first of all. Uh, so seven required. <gasps> it's the perils. Uh, yeah, we'll play a stratagem. Instead of going for a Kamami roll and the risk of rolling another one, uh, we'll play Adepts of the Im Immaterium, so it's, it's an auto-ignore uh, that Perils of the Warp. So that's not going to go through. It's going to cost me a command point here. So we'll take one of those away. It's only one command point, but we ignore uh, that Perils and hope we don't get any more. Uh, so Smite next. Yeah, closest visible unit is that unit of Blood Claws across there. Range 24, so miles in range. It's an 11, so it's a super smite. Oh, man. Oh, no. Cringe. <laughs> oh, no. Six. That's wiped out all of the accompanying blood claws and just the Terminator left. Oh, horrific. Oh, dear. It's cruel here from the Thousand Suns, but they're an ambitious faction here, uh, as are the Space Wolves. But, oh, no, this is painful stuff coming through i hope that doesn't happen again <laughs> but we'll see okay so that's him finished uh we've got aramon available here and then uh chicken wing also yeah we'll play glamour of zinch now from chicken wing gonna put it onto the rubik marines it's minus one to the hit rolls against them at uh, perils what on earth they're really souped up for their psychic powers here but um they're self-destructing we'll go for the gaze of fate reroll 
So it becomes an 8, that's fine. So that's gone off. We can remove that from play. That's the point of taking that power just to help out a little bit. Uh, so Glamour of Zinch. Minus one to hit rolls against the Rubik Marines just to add a little bit more protection to them. Uh, and then Smite now from him. Okay, yeah. So uh, I reckon the closest visible model is now Murder Fang here. It's just, you can see his claw just on the right hand side. So we'll Smite into him. It's a 6. So it's going to be a regular Smite. The damage is just one mortal wound. There is a stratagem uh, available for the Space Wolves to ignore damage, uh, but I don't think it's anything that the Iron Priest can't handle, so, <laughs> so uh, we'll leave it at that. One wound, one wound caused then uh, against Murderfang. So we'll play Doombolt from here uh, against the Thunderhammer uh, unit that's been FAQ'd to an 8. Does not go off, so that's that power resolved. Then on the other flank we'll do a low grade smite. It's the same range but less damage. So it doesn't even go off. So that's that resolve. So that's the infantry and it's done. He's finished. Uh, so just two psychers left. Araman with his three powers, potentially four with a stratagem. Uh, and then uh, Disco Inferno here, a bit late to the party with his powers, but uh, still to manifest his. So go to Araman first. Zinch is Firestorm. Uh, he can see through to the, the dogs here. There's a method to the madness here. I want to try and clear the dogs out of the way before Disco Inferno manifests his powers. So we'll try and manifest this one here. Uh, for Araman, it goes off. Seven required. We've got an eight. Uh, so it's going to be nine dice. Needing sixes to cause mortal wounds. And we've got one. So one of the dogs fried here and destroyed. So we're going for Infernal Gaze next, and see if we can make that go off, which it does on a 9. Uh, again, it's against the dogs in range. Four pluses, another mortal wound taken, so another dog brought down. Okay, Death Hex out of range. That's stripping invun saves, but not available here. Uh, there's no targets in range of that. Uh, so we'll go for Smite here. We'll check to see what the closest enemy unit is once it's visible. Okay, Smite, it's still the dogs here on this flank, uh, just short of the Dreadnoughts across the other side. So, regular Smite, it's unmodified here for Thousand Suns, so that 5 is actually a successful manifestation of that power. So, D3 Mortal Wounds, it's 3. That's got the dogs, they're gone. Okay, so they can be removed from play. Uh, that's Araman finished with his powers, just contributing to the Psychic Attacks on this left-hand flank. Now we'll go to Disco Inferno with his powers. So this could hurt here. We'll go for Astral Blast. Uh, it's got to be the closest unit. It's now the Thunderwolf Cavalry. So we'll try and manifest it first of all. It's a five. Uh, the Astral Blast requires a six. But uh, we have the Relic here, uh, Arcane Focus, that gives him plus one. So that has just about gone off. Uh, he then also has the Warlord trait, which is plus one. Uh, to the results here. So D3 mortal wounds against the Thunderwolf Cavalry. It's a 6, it's 3, plus 1 mortal wound, so 4 mortal wounds taken. Yeah, it's just checking the rules here. Astral Blast, this is why we wanted to clear the dogs out of the way. Uh, it's a warp charge value of 6. If manifested, the closest enemy unit within 9, or that becomes 15 inches uh, for Thousand Suns, uh, visible to the Psycho suffers D3 mortal wounds. And each other unit within 3 inches of that unit suffers uh, a mortal wound. So, uh, we reckon it's 2 mortal wounds each on those two characters, uh, because of the plus one to the mortal wounds uh, for damage for his warlord trait so devastating sorcery is that trait that's been taken so uh disco inferno here <laughs> causing a nasty amount of damage so far he's still got one power left we may need to use warp time here to try and push one of these mauler fiends a bit further forwards all right so we're just talking off camera here. It's, it's it's cruelty here from the thousand suns uh but that's that's the way they are they're not going to relent here against their uh old foe so one power left uh we'll go for i think we have to move one of these two forwards okay so it's a six uh plus one so a five here we'll play it on play it on this one here and it goes off. Eight becomes a nine, so we'll make another move with the smaller fiend. He doesn't have to move too far, uh, but we've pushed him round uh, to just there. That is psychic phase finished here. It's been nasty enough 
uh, from the Thousand Suns, uh, as per usual from them. That's their trademark here uh, for this list. Psychic phase finished, shooting phase next. Okay, so uh, we're on shooting phase. Aaron's, that's the end of a phase there. So Aaron's just played Lone Wolf uh, and he's put it onto that Terminator across there with the claws. That's so now become a character. And he gets three roll hits and wounds. Yep. Yeah, so he's been uh, improved here. Six shots, this is bolter shots. We're going to trade blows here uh, against the Great Hunters across the other side. We're all in range. We've moved those, so just one shot each. Soul Reaper Cannon will go into them as well. Not going to use any stratagems. Uh, they all hit except one. Re rolling ones for. Uh, Araman and the Exalted Sorcerers nearby, so they've all hit their target. Force to wind. Uh, yeah, three have made it through. AP minus two here, uh, so... Terminator. Terminator tanking it on a four plus. Yeah, so one at a time here. Pass that one, pass that one. Oh, good dice running. Oh, well done. Imperial players will be cheering Aaron <laughs> on with that dice running. And then the Soul Reaper cannon. So hit the target, and three wounds come through. This is AP minus three, so six plus on Marines, five plus on the Terminator. Five plus. No. no. Okay. Pass, and one five plus to keep him alive. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Superb. That's the point of having the Terminator in the squad. He's tanked all of the hits, taken a wound, and protected his Space Marine brethren. Good play. Okay, so I'm uh, going to play one of the new stratagems here, uh, Infernal Fusillade. Uh, it's from the Psychic Awakening book. I'm going to put it onto the Terminators. They haven't moved, uh, and we uh, play that at the just as uh, they're declared to shoot, which is now. So I'm going to play the card, and it means during this phase they can fire twice with their weapons. So we'll do our first round of shooting. I'm going to pick on uh, the end unit uh, there of uh, the Blood Claws. So fire the Soul Reaper Cannon first. Threes to hit. There's no re-rolls available nearby, so three hits come through, and three wounds have come through. AP minus three, so five plus on the Terminator, or six plus on regular Marines. Okay, Terminator. Passed. Dice rolling is excellent here. Just about failed, and just about failed. Right, Terminator brought down. Uh, we'll go for uh, the Inferno Combi Bolters next. So, Inferno Combi Bolters. In threes. Just make sure I've got that right. It's four shots each. Yeah, from four models. Yeah, okay. So, let's take away the ones that have missed. Fours to wound. So, AP minus two. So, five plus armor saves on six. Yeah, uh, five dead. So, there's going to be one model left. Uh, and see if we can finish him off with the Hellfry missile rack here. Two shots, two hits, twos to wound. One wound comes through, AP minus two. So five plus to keep that model alive. No, got him. Okay, that's the squad gone. So we'll repeat the firepower from these. We'll go against the next squad along here. Uh, so it's four men left in that squad. They've already taken damage in the psychic phase. Uh, so Soul Reaper Cannon. Two hits. Two wounds. So there is a Terminator there. Five plus or regular yep. Marines. A wound taken. Saved. Terminator lives. Uh, we'll go for Inferno Combi Bolters. So that's those. It's nasty stuff here from these Terminators. Just letting loose of all of their firepower. or taking away the shots that have missed. It's a fair few. And just three wounds make it through at AP minus two. So Terminator first. Yeah. He's doing his job. Uh, yeah, passed. For Terminator, yep. Yeah. He's gone. He's tanking the, the tanking the hits on the Terminators is stopping a fair bit of damage from coming through, but they're, they're being brought down here. Noble sacrifice here from the Terminators protecting the regular Marines. Uh, Hellframe of Sarek. One hit. No wound. And that's it. That's the double shooting done from that squad. Uh, we'll try and finish that squad off. All these models can see uh, and in range. Sat still, so we'll fire with these. So, uh, Inferno Combi Bolters. Uh, we're getting reroll ones here because there's Dean Prince nearby, so we'll reroll those. That, they've all hit. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh dear. Uh, 
Fours to wound. Oh man. Okay, so we're looking at uh, eight. Minus two. They are gone. Gone, the gun squad's brought down here. Ouch, firepower's nasty enough here uh, from these terminators. And look at the distance involved here uh, for the space wolves to cover. Not looking good. All right, so uh, Aaron's relieved. That's the shooting phase is finished. We'll stop there. God, dear, that's, that's about the deadliest we've seen from the Thousand Suns here, and with some extra uh, tasty stratagems from the new book. Um, I think we're, Aaron's ready for Ninth Edition here already. But I think the stratagems are going to remain, though. They're saying that the books are going to remain, so uh, you're not be able to get rid of them here. Uh, but it's Thousand Suns matching the start of the Space Wall. This is the problem. Space Wall's happy enough usually to advance with a shield wall uh, and tank most damage that comes through. But this combination of some heavy minuses on regular firepower plus mortal wounds being dished out uh, is proving nasty enough here against the space wolves but thousand times we have to be cruel and keep the space wolves away because of the nasty units uh, that list has across the other side of the table so firepower resolved it looks like uh, in the very early stages of this game we're gonna have a big fight here on this flank we're going to charges and overwatch next all right so uh charges taking place double one rolled here so not even hope with a command reroll for that charge to go ahead uh, just the extra minus two for the crater this one went ahead we've made contacts uh with the wolf lord on the thunderwolf mount and then with this uh, unit thunderwolf cavalry uh found this charge but command reroll did make this one go ahead uh, demon forge card is ready i think we must fight here first before aaron interrupts play uh, he's then played a stratagem called seeking a saga it has to be against a unit with a higher power rating which is the mortal fiend and you get to reroll your wounds yeah pretty good okay so uh, it would be devastating here for the space wars if they lose their warlord uh, on the first turn or we could see him strike back and bring this beast down we've got a, a battle taking place here triple mauler fiend psychic support versus the space wolves cavalry we'll see who emerges this may well get resolved before the main uh, part of the battle uh, is resolved later on but we'll see what happens we'll go on to combat resolution next okay so uh, four attacks with the fists i reckon it gets hateful assault uh, here so uh, five attacks and then the lash of tendrils doesn't get death to the false emperor though that doesn't have that ability so we're looking for fours and it's re-rollable for demon forge they've all here this will be damage three here uh toughness on here i think you're five yeah yeah uh i think we will be uh, on twos to wound here and it's re-rollable no okay four have made it through um, so it's a case of tanking these hits one at a time on this storm shield. Passed. Passed. Yeah. Failed. Uh, come on, reroll. Here it comes. Passed just about on a three. Passed. Just about on a three. Oh, and held on a five. Well done. God, very good. Okay. What a cheer they'll be if he withstands the attacks from the Mall of Fiend here. This is the Lash of Tendrils. Look at that. They've all hit except one. Reroll this one. Uh, strength six. Threes to wound. Rerollable. Oh, we're asking a lot of questions here of this wolf lord. All six. Three pluses. Damage two. It's not over yet. Passed. Passed. Passed that one. And that one. No, that's made it through. Two wounds taken. Just two wounds taken. Well done. Superb dice rolling. Just two wounds. Added to the total, actually. He's already taken two as well during the psychic phase. So just three wounds left. He is half slain here. Uh, blooded uh, and shaken here by the rampaging Maulafine. And yet still alive. Yes, Aaron's not going to interrupt play here. Just the Thunderwolf Cavalry, the, the way they're equipped, not too much uh, damage potential from them. They'll pick up some wounds, you reckon, uh, but Aaron will try and tank the damage coming through here uh, on uh, his Storm Shield. So five attacks here with the fists. Uh, no rerolls available for this one. Two wounds, two make it through. So three plus in one saves here. It'd be model slain if any of these have failed. Pass that one. Pass that one on three, just about. Wow, Storm Shield's really uh, proving their worth here. And then Lasher Tendrils. This has been excellent from the Space Wolves so far. Three have made it through. Two have wounded. 
passed that one for the emperor and passed that one as well wow excellent stuff that's that'll be encouraging uh, for the space wolves here uh so, so we'll go we'll go on to aaron uh fighting back here yes you get it because you, you charge yeah we're just working out number of attacks here we reckon aaron can do this i've not seen this done before but i can't see any reason why it can't uh, take place here. Perhaps the Wolf Lord, seeing the psychic slaughter taking place, uh, has got very fi fired up here to try and bring the smaller fiend down. Uh, what Aaron's done uh, is played the Emperor's Executioners, uh, so you can play that against a Thousand Suns unit uh, on a roll of a 4 plus uh, during this phase. Uh, it immediately makes an extra attack and then seeking a saga and then Touch of the Wild. Yeah, it's not a card, it's uh, from the book. Touch of the Wild, 4 pluses, activates extra hits. Gotcha. Unbelievable. And he's got seven attacks here. It's four for the Wolf Lord. He was charged an extra attack. The Wolfenstone, an extra attack. And Saga of the Wolfkin, another attack as well. Uh, so, seven attacks. Yeah, so seven attacks. Twos to hit, re-rolling ones. It would be threes usually, but this is Space Wolves here, so plus one to hit rolls. They will hit. So, let's see. We need, to figure, we need to figure this, chew this over in our, so our brains here, how this works. Extra auto four plus four. <laughs> okay. They've all hit. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay. Uh, threes to wound. Re rollable for the Emperor's Executioner's hit. Okay, bring this smaller thing down. Look at that. Wow. Three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve. <laughs> okay, right. Right now, dice here. God. Twelve. Five plus invon saves. Can't withstand that. We've blocked three. No way. Five, nine. No, that's this that's Bane Blade destroying ability there. Oh, unbelievable. Incredible stuff. Right, so Mordafine destroyed. It doesn't detonate here, but uh, easily brushed aside here uh, by this Wolf Lord on Thunder Wolf Mount. Okay, Aaron's just uh, calculating his attacks across here. Uh, so, uh, incredible display uh, here from uh, the Wolf Lord. The downside is that he has taken four wounds, so how long he'll last on the table uh, remains to be seen. But uh, it's been an incredible counter-attack from him. Yeah, we've let Aaron make a consolidation move. He's actually pushed forwards an extra three inches just there. Uh, it's gonna pile, I'll pile these in for you. Yep. Okay, so you're going to swing these models around. Happy enough like that? Okay, so they've wrapped around just there. Now here come their attacks. They should grind down some wounds uh, from the Wall of Fiend here. Yeah, this is a Power Axe fighting here. Okay, so they all hit. Yep. Fives to wound. Uh, so also two wounds. Two wounds come through. It's AP minus one. Uh, yeah, wound makes it through. So down to 11. Chain swords. Yeah, chain sword attacks. Okay, uh, all hit. Yeah, it's twos for hits here. So four. Is it fives or is it uh, fives, yeah, fives to end yet. Yeah. Got another one. It's down to ten. This is the dogs fighting now, the the mounts. Twos for hits. Yeah, really good. Fives to wound, and these actually bite at AP minus one. Three. Three more. Four pluses. Foul two more, so uh, not too bad a result there, down to eight. So taking the wounds down on that Maulafine, but it's still alive. I think that's resolved now, turn's finished. Yeah, so uh, not concluded around here, and despite the psychic damage coming through, perhaps Space Wolves edging ahead, uh, one Maulafine completely destroyed, and one of them taking quite heavy damage. And a danger of a breakthrough now, because we'll be heading on to Space Wolves turn two, uh, and they can push ahead try and take advantage uh, of some available units uh, that could move through here. So turn is complete. Cards to trade in here for the Thousand Suns. And you as well. Five. Defend five. Yes, because you were on it. Yeah. And then you've cleared me off of it. Well done. So two points picked up. He wasn't expecting that. Two points picked up here for the Space Wolves to add to their tally. Okay, even whichever side loses in this game... Points that are scored were helping the league table anyway, so uh, that's something to bear in mind.
So overwhelming firepower, uh, just one point picked up for that. We destroyed two units uh, with that one. And yeah, we achieved this one here. This is supremacy. Three objectives. There's one. There's the other just tucked in there. And then that's why we moved up with the Rubik Marines to secure objective number three. D3 victory points. Two points picked up. Yeah, it's turns finished. Morale fa phase is fine. Uh, well, Aaron may have to resolve, yeah, for the Blood Claws Terminator. We've had this issue before where it's just the Terminator remaining. We have rolled up morale despite being turned into a character. Um, so Aaron can roll that up. Fine. Two's fine, yeah, good roll. Okay, so he's fine. As uh, so I'm going to mention, I'm going to I'm going to dump this priority orders received because of this mission. Uh, I might be able to reshuffle that back into the deck uh, to bring that card back up again. And then on Aaron's turn, he dumped a card as well, so he will be able to put another card into play. Rouse resolved. Turn's finished. Uh, it's quite eventful so far, but it's a nasty psychic phase here. That's what we've seen from the Thousand Suns. Their firepower has been uh, deadly as well, so they're certainly winning the fight on this side of the board. But with the cavalry action on this left-hand side, there's all to play for. We'll go on to the second turn now for the Space Wars. Difficult situation for them. What do they do? Do they continue to push forwards and absorb the casualties? Surely they can't retreat. Difficult choice for them next. We'll go on to their second turn. All right, so turn two for the Space Wars. Cards drawn. There's a secret card in play. Uh, hunt with cunning. One victory point at the end of your turn if at least one unit was destroyed. Uh, one enemy unit was destroyed in your turn. If the last model in the enemy unit was slain by an attack made by a unit that was set up on the battlefield this turn. So the Wolfen, it's D3 victory points instead. So you really want that charge to go ahead. That could really help out here. And then blood and guts here. So destroying units in close combat. Perhaps not as much on this flank, but certainly across the other side, the potential uh, to destroy Thousand Suns units. So the Wolfen have turned up here with their flanking manoeuvre. Uh, so they've turned up just there. A nine inch charge, re-rollable, will get them in against the Terminators. And Aaron can do it where he doesn't have to go through the crater, so it'll be a straight nine up charge. Uh, then Across here, uh, an advanced move made. Uh, the Dreadnought's pushing for it. Aaron's just going to go for it here. I think he has to. There's no real other choice. Uh, a bit of supporting fire is available. So uh, the Great Hunter squads in position remain stationary. So their firepower. Uh, it's, and it's tactical, isn't it? You're on tactical sure. doctrine, yeah. So a bit of AP minus going on as well. Uh, an 8 inch move with Bjorn. He's pushed up. The Lone Wolf character has moved up the board as well. All oh, right, okay, yeah, Murderfang's wound's gone. Uh, that's the Iron Priest patching him up. Uh, and then across here on this flank, uh, continuing melee. Uh, it looks like Canis Wolfborn's going to try and push in to support that. And then the Thunderwolf Cavalry here and uh, the Wolf Lord are going to try and take on the third Maul of Fiends. So we'll go on to shooting phase next for the Space Wolves on turn two. So it seems to be with our 8th edition games at the moment that uh, progress is made uh, very early on. Turn one, turn two, turn three, and the last what half a dozen games we've played, most battles have been resolved by about turn three here. Uh, it's getting more and more brutal here in <laughs> with this edition, uh, all the units getting upgrades, and buffs, and bonuses, and new stratagems being added. Uh, but uh, we'll see how effective Aaron's supporting firepower will be now on this second round of shooting. Okay, so just continuing the supporting firepower, it's going to go into the Rubik Marines. Uh, so it's going to come. Uh, from this Grey Hunter squad. It's remained stationary, some more shots available, and Tactical Doctrine in play. Ones Bjorn's moved in between, yeah, so re-roll those ones. A okay. couple of misses, but most have hit. Falls to wound. Five. Five, okay. AP minus one, plus one for all his dust, plus one for cover. So it's still going to be two pluses, and we've passed all of those. Um, plasma. plasma? Yeah, here comes uh, a plasma shot. Okay. Uh, well, well overcharge. Okay. So Six a is a hit. It's a wound. Failed. So one model destroyed. We'll remove. Yeah, remove this one. Other squads are going to go into them as well. Okay, so here it comes. Bolters. Ones for Bjorn. He's in six as well, yep, yeah, fine. 
it's not too bad. The supporting fire for the space was, despite it being almost exclusively melee based army, is not too bad here. Three come through the wounds. Two ups past here. Cover and armor holds. Plasma overcharging. Hits. Yep. Wounds on a six. Okay. Five. Uh, it's damage two though, so we don't get all his dust. So we get cover two up. Uh, three up, four up, five up. Got it just about. Alright, so we passed with that one. Uh, Bjorn's going to fire at the Terminators. Threes. You're only ones. Okay, two hits. Uh, twos. Okay, so. Uh, five up. Invon saves. Foul both. Okay, we'll let it go through. First one. Dead. Second one. Dead, just about. Okay. <laughs> a bit of revenge here taking place. Yeah, crack grenade. Hits, five for a wound. Yep. No, a uh, crack grenade here. Uh, yeah. Um, or a frag into uh, the... The toughness for four, those guys. Four. No, I'll just do a crack. Into crack, three. yeah, can try and soften up the Maul of Fiend. No, it won't. Okay. That's it. That's it. Yeah, he's got grenades, but uh, it's an ongoing combat and out of range of him. So, shooting phase finished. Uh, charges and Overwatch next. Chance of the Space Wolves here. They need to put a dent in this Thousand Suns army to try and break through to the psychers that the Thousand Suns have. That's where a lot of the damage is coming from. Aaron needs to shrink this Thousand Suns force. What will be crucial here is if the Wolfen make it in. Oh boy, if that charge goes ahead, that could really. Uh, put a cat amongst the, the pigeons, so to speak. Yep. I'm keeping the camera rolling here. We'll let the arrow <laughs> roll up, see if he gets a nine. That is a five. Okay, Just got to re roll the whole thing. Oh man. Yep, done it, he's yep. done it. Got a ten. Oh wow, well done. <laughs> Alright, so the, the wolfen are in. They will love plunging into those Terminators for sure. And if you can get the wipeout against those, uh, that'll be a significant result. Excellent stuff here from the Space Wars. Persistence from them seems to have, have paid off here. They could have withered away. Aaron could have been tempted to back off. Uh, but no, he's pressed on with the attack. And he's got a little uh, reward here with the Wolfen flanking and charging in. Great stuff. Right, so off camera, uh, there was a bit of overwatch, two of my models could see, two wounds came through, but Aaron tanked both on, guess what, storm shields, I guess, <laughs> it really has, does help out uh, this space all time. you can't really see what's going on because all these palm trees in the way, there, there is a tutorial for them on the channel if you want to uh, copy the designs that I've done, but uh, through the trees there, the wolf and plunging in, that's fine, then Aaron's got a piling move available as well. Okay. Uh, Thousand Suns have uh, shifted out of cruise control here. I thought we were coasting along just nicely, dishing out the same amount of damage should see the game through. And perhaps some people have uh, tuned out of the game as well, having given up. But the uh, Space Wolves here are not letting go and are trying to get the Thousand Suns into their jaws here. This pincer attack taking place. Wolfen have plunged into close combat. The distance is too great. No charges taking place across here. But on this flank, it's not looking good for the Thousand Suns. Uh, Thunderwolf Cavalry actually plunged into my screen. The Zangors could easily bring them down or pretty much wreck the squad. Wolf Lord's gone in. We all know what he can do against this Mauler Fiend. And Canis has gone in against this Mauler Fiend, which is already damaged. It's on eight wounds remaining. It may well be an interrupt play here required from the Thousand Sons. So Aaron needs to choose carefully where he's going to attack first. A bit of a conundrum here. He probably needs to go first with the Wolf Lord, but then we might turn on Canis here. We'll see what happens. We're going to combat resolution. We have a lot of melees taking place here. So it has to be here. I think it's the obvious choice. Uh, Aaron's playing what's called the triple whammy here. I reckon he could do it. The Emperor's Executioner, Seeking a Saga, and Touch of the Wild all going in against this Mauler Fiend. So if you can play it, then why not go for it? And he's got the command points here. It's uh, plenty of command points available. Yep. Seven attacks Seven again. Yep. All hits. Four hits, twos, yeah. Sorry, playing all these cards, then forgot the, bon the bonuses. As we just checked the footage, three hits, uh, three extra hits, and three extra attacks. Those are the extra attacks. At two, so they will hit. Okay. Okay. So six is twelve, thirteen. It should be. Okay. Three's to wound. Rerolling. Three. 
Duck. All of them. <laughs> right, okay, 13. Uh, so... I've not seen that combo used before. Uh, it's just sort of fig figured it out as the, the opportunities come up here. But this uh, Wolf Lord's incredible. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop, stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. This is ridiculous. Roll here. And no matter what I do, I'm still dead. After all of that. Blocked all of that damage coming through. Uh, even if I command reroll that one, that's going to be 12 damage. Oh, that's a scary moment there. Uh, see if we detonate. We do. Uh, yeah, we'll keep it because we'll, we might be able to bring you down with us. <gasps> Horror of horrors. Right, okay, we'll check ranges here and see what kind of damage. I think it's going to be D3 for units within three or six inches. Yeah, it is six inches. It's a, a, a grisly twist here in this game. D3 mortal wounds against these. Just the one. Just the one. That's the model stayed alive, crucially. Uh, then... D3 mortal wounds on the Zangors. They've just lost three from their number. Um, Aaron will still be able to pile in. I'll just take from the back here. I don't think it's going to make any difference. So remove those three. Disco taken two mortal wounds. Uh, mortal Fiend's dead. And then uh, I will slay this Warlord on a five plus. That is okay. He's <laughs> sorry, he's still alive. Okay, so resolved. I don't think the, Z the Zangors are going to do too much here, so I'm going to interrupt play with this smaller fiend uh, as it tries to defend itself from the cavalry attack. Okay, so uh, my attacks are lined up. I'll put all of them into Canis to try and bring him down. No, I'll, no I'm going to put the smaller fiend fists into the Thunderwolf cavalry because if any of those invon saves have failed, it's three damage. And then I'll put Lasher Tendrils into Canis. He's already wounded. Can't play Demon Forge because it's not my assault phase here. So uh, five attacks into the Thunderwolf Cavalry. Uh, we don't get death to the False Emperor, sadly. And three. Yeah, I, these are all wounds here. A okay. minus three. So five, uh, three plus in one save. So. Passed. Failed. Uh, I will. It's going to command reroll. Aaron has three command points left. They've been well used here. Uh, his command points during the game. No, got through okay. and passed that one. All right, but took out one of the cavalry. Uh, and then six attacks into Canis Wolfborn. He's been hit three times. F failed to wound with two. And I'll command reroll this one. Doesn't wound. So just the one. AP minus two. Okay, sure. Five up. No, all right. Two more wounds taken. He's still alive. Okay, so resolved. Uh, Aaron's free to attack back uh, here with his charging units. It needs to be Canis Wolfborn next, or this unit down here, or the Wolfen. Um, we'll go with Canis next. Yeah. So, uh, four attacks plus one for the charge, plus an additional for the Wolf Claws. So six. Six attacks for him. Two's to hit, rerolling once. I'll hit. And then it's going to be fives to wound. Rerollable. Uh, re it's, it's actually very good. It's really good. Five. Not too bad from Canis. Uh, fouled four. <laughs> so that was actually exceptionally good and may well help destroy uh, this second Maul of Fiend. So we drop from eight down to four. Just that. Okay, so the uh, mount then, three uh, yes. plus one for his special rule. Yep. All hit. Five's to wound and this will be AP minus one. Nope. Nothing from the dog or the mount. And then uh, attacks here from, no, nope. it's charges next so you can shift to the attacks down here. Uh, Aaron's going to lump all the attacks together. It's all going to be threes to wound. And uh, the AP minus on the axe is not going to make a difference because I'll be taking five plus in one saves. So four attacks for the guy with the chainsword and then uh, four attacks in total uh, for the squad leader as well. Uh, don't I go within six? Don't oh, we may. Yeah, you might be. We'll just double check. It'll be tight. Yeah, no, it's five and a half inches. That's uh, so all hit there. Okay. Threes to wound. 
Okay, uh, two, four, six. Too far away here though for the reroll ones to wound. Six have made it through. Five plus in one saves. Past two, four casualties on top of the three that have already been taken from the exploding mauler fiend. So, one, two, three, and four. The mount's next. We could wipe out the squad here. Real ones, yeah. Three's to wound. Safety minus one, but it doesn't matter. Three. Could be enough. No. Triple. Invon save has been made. Okay, so the Zangle's still alive. Uh, so it has to be the Wolfen fighting next all the way across the other side of the board. Okay, yeah, just calculating out the attacks. Nice lot of attacks here uh, with the Wolfen. Aaron's made his pile of moves, pushing deeper into the crater here. Uh, we should see these Terminators uh, vaporised. We'll see what happens. Yeah, so just as Aaron's about to attack there, I've played one of the new stratagems, Indomitable Foes. I've uh, added plus one to my Invon save here, so four plus Invon save uh, to try and limit the damage coming through. Okay, so how much? Situation here, Aaron has three command points left. Thousand Sons still have seven to use. Okay, so that's five hits there with the hammers. Yeah, we're only toughness four. Yeah, so... We're all wounded. Five. Yeah. Okay. So, I, so... I see what Aaron's trying to do. He's trying to collapse both flanks here. He's pretty much done it on this side. And he's, try, he's trying to do it on this side as well. That's why I'm trying to resist uh, getting this unit wiped out. So, how many... Sorry, how many? Five. Five, right. So, four plus Invon saves to save whole models here. Oh, it's helped. Okay, just one casualty taken so we'll take off a regular uh, rubik marine just from the very edge at this rate we'll do okay axe is next ten attacks in total on the charge twos and twos to wound it's a high strength weapon mm, there's a lot then it looks like another six or so yeah six okay Four plus Invon saves. Oh, no, not so good. Um, think, think, think. Uh, oh, this is not looking good. Uh, I've already come on rerolled. Yes. I have, right. I'm going to have to let it go. There's four have come through here. D3 on the first. This could be the end of the squad. <gasps> Got him. Okay. D3. One model slain. Second model slain. Third model slain. Okay. One left. All right, so just the aspiring sorcerer left. His career perhaps about to be cut short here. We'll see, literally. Uh, so here comes the attacks from the squad leader. Uh, all They've all hit. Oh, no. Threes to wound. I eight. Four. Reroll uh, re field wounds because of frost. With, with a weapon, yep. Yeah. Oh, no, six. Six, yeah. No, that's trouble. Oh, what's the AP minus on that one? Two. AP minus two. Oops, by the way, then. Yes. Yeah, it's just about to roll there, 4+. plus. actually a 3+. Plus. All is dust here. It's damage 1 with those claws. Uh, so, uh, AP minus 2, but then plus 1 to it. So it's 3-plus uh, armor save. Ah, oh, we've still failed. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh, so close. Wipeout. Unit destroyed. Terminator's gone. Orphan on the rampage here. What a result for the Space Orbs. Yes, Aaron making a consolidation move, pushing them forwards. They're all in the crater now, so that'll help with their uh, armor save. Okay, resolved. So we'll switch back over to the other. I, I was prepared to sit back and just let loose with firepower, uh, but uh, it's not to be here. Terminator's brought down. The other squad's taking casualties as well. Uh, so combat's next will be here. Four wounds remain on this smaller fiend. This guy's just going to be three now. Yes. Yes. Three attacks of the axe uh, at threes now. All hit. Cool. All hit. Two sixes and a five. There's a wound. If you minus one. Failed. So we're down to three wounds left. One hit. Fives to wound. No. And then the mount set. Should we get an extra one each? Because of Canis. Yep. Well remembered. No reroll ones available. Reroll ones here, there's none have come through, just the one. 
failed that one as well. The wounds have come through here, not passing saves, but it's not enough to destroy this smaller fiend. It does live. It's not entirely resolved on this flank. Still a potent psyche remains, and one smaller fiend just about here. But winning the fight for sure on this flank, uh, and a bit of a shock result on this flank here with the wolfen bursting through. Thousand Sons need to be careful here. They're losing their grip on this game uh, and their firepower in this direction and smite ability and so on uh, we can't casually do that now because there's pressure on both flanks this game is still very much on for both sides turns finished bit of morale to resolve uh, and then there'll be cards potentially to trade in yeah yeah. Right, okay. Well this is uh this is very good here. Blood and guts achieved D three. If you roll well here you're gonna go ahead. Yep, three. Oh no. And then hunt with cunning, a uh, unit destroyed here by the wolf and this will make your day. If you roll a six you have oh I can't believe there's six points picked up here by the Space Wolves. Oh boy, what a switch around this game. It's not over yet though. It's not over. No one can celebrate here at this stage. Uh, but both armies very, very much in this fight. This is the kind of game we were hoping for uh, with this classic matchup. And uh, we've got quite a spectacle on our hands here. And this is the early stages of the game. So turns finished. I've got no cards to trade in. Uh, no cards in play. Aaron has one secret card still remains. Are you going to keep it or dump it? Keep. It's going to remain. So secret objective still to be achieved. Uh, but just looking at the score line, uh, yeah, Space Wolves are quite well ahead now of the Thousand Suns. So pressure on both flanks. Pressure with the mission. Uh, but Thousand Suns will have to fight on. We're going to turn two uh, for the forces of chaos. Okay, so uh, turn two here for the Thousand Suns. A uh, little bit of uh, manipulation going on here with some stratagems being used just trying to improve uh, what we have here for our tactical objectives. So, uh, the start of the turn, two cards are in my hand. Uh, I got rid of those, uh, paying points for uh, reprioritized, dumped two cards, uh, and then drew two and then put them into play. So, those cards that have come up are secure objective number three. So that's this objective here, a bit of a better result. And then defend objective number two, uh, so that's that objective all the way across there. Uh, then I also played tactical foresight and had a look at the cards, the top three in the deck. One of them I've placed uh, at the bottom of the pile and kept the other two. I've then drawn five cards uh, ready for next turn. So really turn two here is just a case of uh, trying to keep the space wolves at bay uh, and then hopefully to use some of these cards turn three. That's the plan here I think for the Thousand Suns. Just uh, damage limitation containment here uh, and trying to stem this onslaught that's currently taking place. Uh, so we'll go on to movement now for the Thousand Suns on the second turn. Alright so uh, 
Movement's taken place here. Uh, we're going to commit the Warlord to the fight here against the Wolfen. So we're going to see a bust up on this flank now, potentially. Uh, Cultists shifting around. They're going to move on to objective number one. This unit shifted across in this direction uh, to try and salvage this flank here. Uh, Disco Inferno moving through. Araman's advanced. Rod of six for him. So he's jumped down here and headed off in this direction with his array of psychic powers. Uh, and then restoring a wound with Infernal Regeneration. Back up to three with the Maul of Fiend uh, fighting here. Continuing to fight on. Uh, Ribic Marines going to hold still here to maximise their firepower. Terminators remaining stationary to maximise theirs as well. Uh, Zangles holding them back for now. Just waiting to see if any Space Wolf units break through. And that's movement complete here. Heavy casualties now on both sides. We'll go on to Psychic Face next for the Thousand Suns on turn two. All right, so uh, Psychic Face then. We'll start with uh, the Demon here. So we'll go for Gaze of Fate first of all, needing a six. God, that goes off an 11. Oh, I wish that was smite. Okay, so that goes off. So I've got a reroll available. All right, so then I'm going to play uh, Treason of Zinch next. Uh, going to try and put that onto Murderfang here. It's a character. Well, within range. A leadership 9 reckon for Ulrich the Slayer granting uh, better leadership. But if this goes off, ha, <laughs> it's a 10. All right, so treachery here. Uh, so Murderfang for one turn only is mine here to use. So he's only available in the shooting charge and fight phases here. <laughs> so uh, I don't think Aaron's going to lend me any of his stratagems, but all of a sudden Murderfang uh, temporarily has joined the forces of Zinch. I just want to try and block it. He's got Talismanic Shield, is available. You'd need an 11. Let's try and stop Murderfang doing the unthinkable hit. Uh, I'm going to have to try, I reckon. Guys, put him in a real situation then. 11. No. That's an 8. Valiant attempt. Okay, the treachery goes on here. <laughs> okay. That's a strange twist. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to play the Great Sorcerer. I've already played the command point, and we're going to try and go for Smite into the Wolfen. Goes off on a five, needing a five. And the damage is just one mortal wound. And uh, Aaron can ignore it on a five plus, yeah. Nope. No, all right, so one wound taken. Bit of a waste there. I was hoping for a better result. Uh, but can't complain. Good results uh, so far with this Psyker. Okay, so we're going to play Time Flux here. Needing a five. Try and put some Terminators. Oh, it's Periled. Uh, hmm. No, because we don't, we don't want to lose that Psyker here. Uh, that Perils can't go through. I need to stop that. So I'm going to pay uh, one command point for the stratagem that ignores the Perils. Uh, and it's going to go through on a 12. Um, so the Perils is ignored, but the score is a 12, which means I restore D3 models back to play. And they're both back, so the squad's back up to full strength. So resurrecting uh, Terminators here. Uh, it's a useful power for the Cult of Time. Uh, it means I can't use it across here, uh, so we'll go for Doom Bolts with these. Yeah, we'll play Doom Bolt. We'll put it onto the Venerable Dreadnought. And it doesn't go off, so that's that finished and resolved. So Chicken Wing next, we'll play uh, Glamour of Zinch. Who's off on a seven and uh, seven required? That's minus one to the hit rolls, which I forgot about on the previous turn, but we'll try and remember it this time. So, minus one to hit the Rubik Marines. Uh, Smite then will go against Murderfang, he's the closest uh, model here. Uh, it goes off on a six, D3 mortal wounds, just the one mortal wound taken. Murderfang, so seven wounds remain. Uh, Beaker next uh, with his powers. So Smite uh, will go for straight away into Murderfang. That goes off on an 8. Again, just one mortal wound, so dropping down to 6. So we'll go for Prescience. Put it onto the, the Rubik Marines. That goes off on a 10. All right, so that's plus 1 to the hit rolls. All right, so we'll go for Araman next. Uh, an array of psychic powers that could cause trouble. We'll go for Zinch's Firestorm. We'll put it onto the Warlord. To try and bring him down. It's a cowardly thing to do, not to face him in close combat. Uh, but that's the way the Thousand Suns are. That doesn't go off. Uh, I'll use my Gaze of Fate now, the reroll. Seven. Yeah, seven required, plus one anyway, so that has gone off. So six is here for Mortal Wounds. Guys, uh, quadruple six on the Warlord. 
so nothing you can do. Oh, his saga comes to, <laughs> comes to an end here. Aaron's had to step in uh, had to try and deal with the situation on this flank. All right, cruel stuff here from the Vows and Sons, but that power has gone off. There's two powers remain. Okay, next power, smite into here. It's gone off. D3 mortal wounds. It's two mortal wounds. It's going to be uh, the model slain, and then we'll leave one wound on for the squad leader. Right, the final power from Araman here is Death Hex. And if this goes off, uh, we're going to try and strip the Invon save away from the Fund Wolf. Cavalry, no, it does not go off. I'll come on, me roll this one. I'd like to make this one go off. We do not. Okay, so that would have taken away the Invon save from those Storm Shields, but it's not to be. And now I've got one command point left. Uh, Aaron's thumb. Uh, Disco Inferno next. I think it must be. Uh, smite that we go for just to try and remove this model from play. So we'll play smite first. It goes off. D3 mortal wounds. It is two. Squad destroyed. Ouch. Here again, psychic powers uh, causing trouble here, bypassing the invon save. Okay, uh, the second power. I'm going to play astral blast uh, across here. This could cause trouble. See if it goes off. It's going to go off on an 8, becomes a 9. Uh, so it's going to be D3 Mortal Wounds against Canis Wolfborn. He's taken 1. He's still going to remain alive. And then we're going to have an overflow. Uh, now, how many wounds has he got? 6. six. He is dead because of his ability of plus 1 to Mortal Wounds. So, yeah, there's 2 wounds remain. So Canis is gone. Uh, and then there's going to be an overflow of damage onto these other units. Yeah, it is. It's each other unit. So I reckon it includes all units. So I'm going to take 2 Mortal Wounds uh, here. So drop to one with the Mauler Fiend. And then uh, Aaron's Thunderwolf Cavalry take two mortal wounds. You've, you've already placed those on. They're already placed on. Both models, crucially, still stay alive. Okay. So. Oh, there's been another nasty psychic phase here from the Vows and Sons. Uh, it's just looking around to see if there's anything else available. Everyone's gone through their powers. Yeah, psychic phase finished. It's been quite devastating here. Uh, and even a bit of treachery taking place as well. Uh, with murder fang. We're going to shooting phase next. Okay, shooting phase. Rubik Marines, five Inferno Bolters. They're going to fire across uh, against the Great Hunter squad. Uh, so, with prescience, it's twos to hit. And you're only ones for the sorcerers nearby. So they've all hit. Force to wound. Not so good. Just four at AP minus two. The Terminator's still alive. Yeah, yeah just going to tank it here. Yep, so it takes, one. takes one wound. He's takes dead. another, he's dead. Saved a marine. marine and Not another one. Alright, so one Terminator and a marine brought down. Alright, so Terminators are going to fire. They're going to offload all they have into the Wolfen. I need to soften those up, otherwise my Warlord may find himself uh, in a combat that brings him down. So, uh, it's, we'll go for uh, the Soul Reaper Cannon first because there is a wound already on the squad leader. So, threes for hits. They've all hit on two sixes, two fives. Threes to wound, strength five. They've all wounded on two fours and two sixes. Um, so, AP minus three. I think he's just cut down. Yeah, so, oh, crater save. Six plus. So, one, one at a time here because it's going to overflow onto other models. So, no, so he's down. Uh, for, no, sorry, five plus to ignore. To try and keep him alive. Yep. No, all right, so squad leader's gone. And now Aaron can choose where he wants to tank these uh, hits. Storm shield. Storm shield, okay. Three plus in one save. <laughs> no. Five plus to ignore that. Um, does Is ignored. Okay. Cool, well done, okay. So another one. Past. Past There's two to go. Okay. That's gone off the table. Past, Past the invun. Uh, Failed that one, 5 plus to ignore. Plus to ignore no. Alright, so wound taken. Uh, Inferno combi bolters now. Uh, threes for hits, three rolling ones because of the demon prince nearby. It's certainly helped out here. Those can be taken away. I know the stratagems I could use, veterans of the long war and so on, but I've only got one uh, command point left here. Force to wound. Uh, five. Storm should it has to be, yeah, one at a time. Passed. Passing six. It's made it through. Five plus to ignore. Or a command reroll. 
both of us not much left yeah, he's gonna I'll use it okay it yeah it's quite important to keep that alive passed on another six as uh, two to go passed on a five passed on a three well, well done uh hell fry miss all right two hits Ooh, two wounds here toughness four yeah okay. strength eight three up passed and one more yes. passed well done so fantastic dice rolls there. Uh, the wolf is still in very healthy condition. Turn uh, two shooting the f uh, for the Thousand Suns is finished. We're going to charge his Overwatch. A fight on this flank now. I think I must charge. I can't let the wolf and uh, continue uh, to push on through our ranks. So the warlord's going to have to go out here and try and take them on. Mm. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Uh, and then across here, the mortal fiend with one wound left, uh, still to fight. Charges and Overwatch next. So, yeah, it's hard to, hard to tell what to do in this situation. Uh, charge has taken place here. Murder Fang uh, chose to charge against everybody. Uh, and he's gone in against the Iron Priest uh, and also the Venerable Dregnaunt. Uh, so confusion here amongst the Space Wars, wondering what on earth Murder Fang's doing. Uh, but he's not in his right mind at this stage here. He's uh, attacking his own fellow Space Wolf units. And across here, we've charged in uh, with the Warlord uh, against the Wolfen. So we'll attack first uh, with the Warlord. Been waiting to use this all game. Vengeance for Prospero. Use the stratagem just before a thousand Suns unit for your army fights in the fight phase. At the end of that phase, uh, that unit's death to the False Emperor ability increases to a 4 plus instead of a 6 plus uh, if it targets a Space Wolves unit. So we'll use that here. It's our last command point being used. Uh, so uh, a nice lot of attacks here for the Demon Prince and 4 pluses will generate extra attacks as well. So 8 attacks, you reckon? 5. Uh, four base, plus three for uh, two malefic talons, and then plus one for hateful assault. It does get death to the false emperor, so four pluses will be really good. And there's a few. And these have all hit. No, reroll this one. Failed. Another four attacks. And reroll those two. Okay, so. Eleven hits. Ah, uh, he's strength seven, I believe. I'll double check that, but we're all up for our wounds here. Yeah, he's strength seven. So, a lot have fouled here. Five have fouled. Six have made it through. I uh, might have met his match here against the, the Wolfen. <coughs> so, three plus invun saves, one at a time. Six to work our way through. Past. Uh oh. Past. Past that one. Failed. Alright, two damage. Is. Yes, so he's, Aaron's got one precious command point left. He's going to use it. Come on, reroll. Passed on a six. Passed on a three. <laughs> Passed on a four. <laughs> he's blocked everything. Oh, boy. Trouble hit. That's uh, that's an excellent result. So, uh, other charges then. Uh, it's going to have to be... Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's going to have to be murder thing now. Okay, so... Um, we're going <laughs> so reckon it's eight attacks here. Uh, so there's a bonus. So he gets five. Space range charging, and then plus two because it's murder fang on the charge. Two's for hits. Rerolling ones. All of them. Uh, Rerolling all his hits. That's within his profile, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I can take these three away. We're trying to, this is a bit of a unique situation here. We may not get this right, but we're trying to try our best with uh, it's a strange, bizarre situation. Uh, so I was saying perhaps I get uh, Ulrich the Slayer's benefits here, but uh, because he's part of my army now, he's treated as a friendly model. We say he's not going to get a bit, a bit cheeky to, <laughs> to take your buffs. <laughs> no, no, that's true. Okay, so five hits will come through. Uh, but there is a built in reroll wounds for his weapons. Yes. So we get that. All right. So three to wound, and we'll reroll that. Not so bad here. Uh, you've got your Blizzard Shield, so this isn't as bad. Nowhere near as bad here. So three, four plus invon saves to make. Uh, there's a cock dice there. Or yeah, it's cock yeah, dice. Aaron's happy enough to reroll. Okay, two have made it through. Six damage. You do get six plus feel no pain. No, okay, so six wounds taken, but the Venerable Dreadnought is still alive. It's got no wounds at the moment. No. Nope. That's good, okay. And there is the um, Iron Priest there to restore wounds. It's not so bad. Okay, so uh, charges resolved. I then pick a combat, so it's going to be this one. I just get two attacks. 
with the fists. Uh, both hit. Should have done Lash Tendrils first, but uh, that's what we've rolled. Uh, it's always forced to hit here for this, uh, but it's strength four, double. So three's to wound because it's toughness five. One wound comes through, three plus in one save. Pass. Okay, and then Lash of Tendrils. Still get all six attacks. It's good fighting here, and then three's to wound again. Uh, no, sorry. Strength four, toughness five. Yeah. Five's to wound. Just the one. Failed model slain. Uh, so just the lone wolf remains here. That's all that's left on this flank here. It's been devastating for both sides, but Thousand Sons, uh, with Aaron's help, have, have tipped the scales here. So uh, we'll resolve the rest of the combat. So remember, there's still the wolf and to fight. Okay, so uh, situation, I've been, we've been discussing this for quite a while. Um, so there's been an update with the rules. You have to fight, you can't choose not to fight. So we know that both of Aaron's units have to fight there, the Iron Priest uh, and the Venerable Dreadnought. Uh, we're trying to think of ways where to limit the damage. Aaron can choose which profile he's going to use with the axe on the Venerable Dreadnought. So a lower grade attack is going to come through uh, against uh, Murder Fang. But it's going to have to be that hammer, isn't it, against him? Yes, yeah, this could, could cost this Dreadnought here, this treason. Difficult situation this one. We'll resolve it here with uh, standard attacks coming through. Yeah, so it's going to be the save attack. Um, okay. So then, to, uh, oh, it's going to be a load of attacks here, but it's sort of low grade quality attacks here to try and keep uh, Murder Fang alive. Yeah. But it may well be that he's destroyed here. It's a tricky thing here from the Thousand Sons. It's a lot of cruelty from them here, but that goes back to the fluff and, and the law here between these two sides. Okay. Loads of attacks. And he can reroll everything here for Ulrich the Slayer. Okay. Nearby. It's going to be for fives and sixes. Two, one. I don't, I don't roll any. Oh no, it's I get to roll the saves. Looks like yeah. it's a friendly unit. <laughs> so I hope I roll bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it's, um, it is still a minus three. So it's just a six up. Six up on how many? Five. Yeah. See how many sixes I roll here. Aha, none. <laughs> <laughs> One we left on uh, Murder Fang. Oh no, the hammer's going to finish him off. Oh no, his own Iron Priest. Yeah. Oh dear. What a situation. Okay, so he has three attacks plus one for charge. Just going to make sure that Aaron remembers all his rules here for the... Uh, four ones? No. No, because I'll uh, Slayer, your own bubbles are causing yeah, trouble here. Um, this is strength eight. Oh, no, three still wound. Three wounds. Oh, Nine, dear. Three. Triple six. No, and uh, it's my model, so I'll roll to see if it detonates. No. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Murder Fang is gone. Strange way to die. Brought down by his own Iron Priest. You, you won't see that happen too often in a game of 40k. It's a nasty character in the previous battle reports. Uh, utterly devastating with his attacks. But in this game, a strange game against the Thousand Sons. He's turned on his own and has been brought down by his own Iron Priest. Commissioned with restoring wounds. Instead, uh, the rampaging, treacherous murder thing has been destroyed. Like um, the ancient elephants, wasn't it? They... The, uh, the drivers of the elephants carried a stake just in case the elephant went mad. They could drive a stake for its head uh, to stop it from... <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think of some kind of justification of what's happened here. Strange stuff taking place, but Murder Fang's gone. But uh, I, I guess games, battles against Zinch is, is always weird. So weirdness taking place here. Trying to pick off the last wound. Aaron will be happy to get rid of the Mortal Fiend if he can. Just the one... Yuck, no wounds. Uh, but the mount might be able to get the hits. Double six. six Fives. Well two. done. Minus Nipping at the cables here. Minus one. Got him. Detonate. No. All right. Mall of Fiend destroyers. All three Mall of Fiends gone. 
Okay, there's still cause potentially for rejoicing here for the Space Wolves. Uh, the Wolfen are about to fight here. They've done very well in this game so far, and they could bring down the Warlord. Hammers? Yeah, Hammers here. Two models fighting. Aaron's kept these alive during the Thousand Suns turn. Threes for hits. Ah, twos for hits. There's another hit come through. It's Hammers, so it's minus one. Yeah, no, sorry, correct, you're okay. Uh, so that's the hits that have come through. Okay, uh, all wounded. Yeah, I was thinking of the the, wall, uh, the Wolf Lord, yeah. who hits on twos of his hammer because he yeah. starts off on a two. Uh, so five wounds. Five wounds come through. Three plus. <gasps> One's failed. Three wounds taken. God, could have been a lot worse, could have been slain. Still do it here. Uh, so attacks with the uh, axes. Okay. These are on twos, yeah. And then uh, threes to win, strength eight. Okay. Okay. It's five again. Five. Three plus. Oh, triple six and a three. One's made it through. D3. Maxed out on that. Well done. <laughs> You've done that a lot in this game. Three more wins taken. <gasps> Down to two left on the Warlord. Okay, very, very good result, but he hasn't quite been slain. Aaron probably happy to continue on that fight next turn. Okay, so that card can go. I'll not come back here. All command points have been used up. And that's it. Morale to resolve across the board. Yeah, the squad on top. Bit of morale for them. Aaron's rolled a two, so they'll be fine. End of turn. Uh, so we'll see if there's any points have come through. That was your mystery card. Yeah. I can't believe it. Another two points picked up. Defend objective number six. Space Wolves uh, well ahead here. So secure three. We get a point picked up just there. So we'll just mark that up. Thousand Suns are behind here. Defend objective number two. That's that objective all the way across there. Um, so I reckon maybe we'll dump that one just to try and uh, get better cards coming through next turn so that's going to go into the discard pile disappointing uh points wise for the thousand suns they're behind as the game is the space wolves will win despite the the weirdness and the damage coming through we've gone to turn three for the space wolves next Okay, so uh, movement here on turn three for the Space Wolves. Across the other side, you can see the Thunderwolf Cavalryman, uh, the last member of that squad pushing around to take on Disco Inferno. This squad's remained stationary, so is this squad. Uh, Bjorn the Fellhander pushing through. Venerable Dreadnought with two wounds left. Have you restored? No. Nope. Right, so D3 wounds about to be restored here from the Iron Priest. Maxing out there, back up to five. Uh, this squad of Blood Claws pushing through. Ulrich the Slayer pushing through. Uh, and then maintaining close combat here with the Wolfen. Cards in play, the ones that have come from Aaron's hand, uh, defend one. And then there's a mystery card, and then he's then drawn five cards uh, into his hand, which you better start putting onto the table next turn. So, movement done. Uh, oh, there's one other move that's taken place. The Lone Wolf is pushing through the gap. Just there. Shooting phase next. Okay, uh, shooting phase is resolved here for the Space Wolves. Uh, no impact. Nothing. No, okay. Prescience. Uh, or Glamorous Inch. Minus one to hit rolls here. Firepower coming through uh, from the Marines on top of the building. The Grey Hunters, but uh, passing all of our saves. Even uh, Invon saves being passed here from the Plasma Gun hits. Two Las Cannon hits wounded. Roll a six and five. The Invon save on the Terminators. And then a Crack Grenade thrown with no effect across here. Charges and Overwatch next. Okay, so charge has taken place. An attempted to charge across here, sneaking in against Araman, but didn't make it in uh, with the Lone Wolf, uh, lurking in the, the shadows just there. Uh, charge taken place, two wounds taken from the Warp Flame pistol, but saved. Uh, the Lone cavalryman has gone in. Uh, an attempt to charge is here from the Venerable Dreadnought and also the Blood Claws against the Zangors, uh, but charges didn't go ahead. So we've got an ongoing combat across here. Uh, against my Warlord, the Demon Prince, and then a, a fight here on this flank as well. So an Assault Doctrine here, Savage Fury, sixes will generate extra hits. At Arrow making his attacks down here for Parax. Two fits here. That's yeah, sure. uh, a bonus hit come through with a six. Yeah, so I'll just keep that in. Yep. Uh, three's to wound with the axe. Three make it through. Minus one, minus two, because it's Assault Doctrine now. Oh. Five pluses. Come on, don't let the party end. 
Oh, double six is alive, and there's a two there, just plain hole facing, so wound, a wound taken, but Disco's still alive. Yeah, he's alive at the moment, but he may get savaged by the wolf here, this is the mount attacking. Oh, all hit. Very to wound. Oh no, they've all wounded. Oh no! Five plus! Oh, he's been slain! Oh no, that's awful! Gone! Oh, so has gone. Party's over early. I was expected to keep him alive. Destroyed here by a vengeful lone cavalry. Well played by him, Parax. Uh, and mention his well trained uh, wolf as well has brought Disco Inferno down. He's gone. Yeah, right, and then we'll switch over to the other flank. Uh, the wolf to fight now. And surely they have enough potential to bring the Demon Prince down. Uh, six with the yeah, six with the hammers. One successful hammer attack will bring him down. Yep, yeah. uh, three's to wound. Triple six. Three plus him, one save. Got him. And there's nothing I can do. So he's been destroyed. Uh, so the hourglass of Manat, he's not dead. He gets back up with three wounds remaining and it has to be more than an inch away so that he won't get to fight but uh, that relic has kept the demon prince and the warlord alive okay so wolfen perhaps a bit bemused they'd hammered the demon prince into the ground <laughs> and they see a reversal in time and it resurrects itself here so uh turn is finished yeah i can't fight back anywhere across the board so cards to trade in uh, just the one witch hunter killing a psyker Yes, Disco Inferno's dead. Well played. Okay, another point coming in. If Aaron keeps this up, he'll win this battle, despite the horrific casualties taking place on both sides. But uh, despite the heavy damage for the Space Wolves, they are currently winning the game. And potentially, with that many points being scored, possibly can go top of the league as well. So uh, the pressure's still on both sides here. The game very much unresolved at this stage. We'll go on to turn three for the Thousand Suns. Okay, so movement taking place here for the Thousand Sons on turn three. Uh, so swinging around with the Warlord here, he's got three wounds left. I, I think I have to step in and continue to use him here aggressively. Can't hold back and wait for wounds to be restored. I might be able to have temporal manipulation if that goes off. Uh, Terminators on top of the container is going to sit where they are to lay down firepower. Zangors have moved round uh, in this direction. Uh, advanced move made, roll of five, so uh, a big move made by these onto objective number one. The other cultist unit has pushed through in this direction, joined by unit Zangors going after the lone wolf. Holding position here uh, with the Rubik Marines to maximise their firepower, the two psychers have, have moved around a little bit, and then Araman's jumped up on top just here. Cards for us coming from our hand, one secret card, defend three, which is this one. And then Kingslayer, which has already been achieved. So Thousand Suns trying to catch up with the Space Wolves here for points being scored. Movement done. Psychic phase next. Okay, Psychic phase finished here. Uh, Gaze of Fate uh, is still active. That's went off. Uh, mortal Wounds coming through from uh, here. Uh, him. Uh, across here as well has reduced the Venerable Dreadnought down to one wound remaining. Uh, the Lone Wolf that was here was taken out by Smite, that came from Beaker. Uh, we were too far away for Temporal Manipulation, so we haven't been able to use that power. So still only three wounds uh, remain on the Warlord, the Imprints. Uh, Smite down here took out the Cavalryman, uh, and then uh, Zinch's Firestorm and Infernal Gaze took out two of the Marines on top of the buildings, just the lone plasma gunner left. That psychic phase finished, prescience as well by the way, so plus one to the hit rolls for the terminators, glamorous inch, minus one to hit the rubik marines. Uh, the only other power, doom bolt was played and uh, fouled to manifest. Shooting phase next for the thousand suns on turn three. Right, so shooting phase here, uh, infuriating for the Thousand Suns. A lot of firepower directed at the Wolf and just managed to bring down just about one uh, more model. So one of the uh, Thunderhammer and Storm Shield models removed from play. Uh, it's pretty good firepower from here. Uh, firing at both squads in the distance, uh, just a plasma gunner left from each of those squads. Uh, it's quite devastating there, the Grey Hunters being brought down. That shooting phase finished. We'll go on to charges and overwatch next. Okay, so charges taking place. Uh, 
charging him with the Zangors, uh, Aaron's then replied with a six inch uh, heroic intervention. So Ulrich the Slayer's gone in and, and the Iron Priest as well. I, I'm tr the, our main aim is to try and pick off the one wound left uh, on that Dreadnought, which is quite possible with the Zangors. They may well be vaporized uh, in the attempt, but uh, I think it may well be worth it if we can take that Dreadnought out. Uh, and then across here, uh, the Warlord has gone into the Wolfen to try and. Uh, break through that last storm shield to try and wipe out that squad. That's charges taking place here. Still not decided on this flank, and the way this flank goes may well decide the battle. Uh, combat resolution next. Okay, so uh, the Dim Prince fighting eight attacks on the charge. Ooh, reroying ones. Yes, yeah, so they've all hit, and three death to the false emperor. They've all hit. Three is to wound. So that's those. Seven. So there's a pressure roll here. One at a time, tanking it on the storm shield. Past the first one. Past the second. Fouled the third. Right, so two rolls of five plus to ignore that damage. Past one. Oh, it's kept him alive. Okay. Uh, this is the fourth. Nope. Fouled. Two five pluses to keep him alive now. No. no, not quite. Okay, yeah. so he's gone. Fourth. Yeah, so the fifth is minus two. No. Uh, it's two five pluses to keep that model alive. No, no double one. Ah, oh, no. Next one. No. no. Five pluses. No. One no. wound. One yes, one wound left. One more. one more to go. Seventh wound. Not passed. Okay. Need two fives to stay alive. <laughs> not quite six and three. Wipe out. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. You get to fight before you're removed. Aaron remembers all the rules that I forget, so well done. Uh, Wolf and Dying will get to fight hit. Yeah, you still get a heap of attacks. It's not even one attack each, is it? It's just your, all your attacks. Oh, attacks yeah. <laughs> okay, right. Forgot about that bit. <laughs> okay. okay. Right, ready when you are. Here it comes. Uh, hammer? Yep. That's failed. Ooh, just the one comes through. Three plus in one save. Failed. Uh, I've got no command points left. No, not dead yet. Gaze of fate. Alive. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Axes. And you know why, I, you know why Gaze of fate's still there? Because I forgot to use it. <laughs> so my forgetfulness has actually saved him there. Okay, so those fails for five hits. Three's to wound. Oh, four. boy. Four have made it through. <sighs> Keep the warlord alive. Come on. I'll oh, just roll them all. <gasps> One's made it through. What does that mean? Five plus to kill him. D3. Oh, you've rolled a five again. Only fives you rolled in this game. He's dead. The hourglass of Manat has shattered. Can only be used once. Warlord slain. That's another point picked up. And a vital unit for the Thousand Sons uh, in close combat. And Psyker is gone. And more of my psychic powers uh, can be flipped over here to be used no more in this game. Interesting the way it's going. This game is getting very tight here. Thousand Sons just need to maintain their presence on the board uh, to keep going and keep ahead and they can see this game through to victory, but still uh, there's some way to go. Sangor's going to put all their attacks into the Venerable Dreadnought. 21 attacks. Uh, they don't get death to the False Emperor. Uh, we're getting a good number of hits coming through on threes. Yes, that's not too bad. Five to wind. Oh, they have done well. They've done really well. Uh, seven. And it's AP minus one. They're armed with Zangor blades. So four plus in one saves. We've got him. Yeah, yeah. Quadruple six required to keep him alive. No, all right, and uh, detonation, wouldn't mind. No, okay. Venable Dreadnought destroyed. That was their mission, just to pick off the last wound from that vehicle, and that Dreadnought is now removed from play. They'll die. Those characters will uh, destroy them. And the Blood Claws will destroy them, but at least the Dreadnought's gone. Okay, so uh, the combat's been resolved here. Uh, the blue chickens, now headless chickens here, they've been uh, cut to pieces and butchered here by the blood claws. That was the last unit there, and that's pushed forward three inches. Uh, so now that, that's cleared them out of the way. It's a bit of a showdown now between these characters, the last blood claw unit, and then the 
terminators here. So, turns finished, morale. No, yes, marines at the back there. Yeah, grey hunters have taken a hammering. Uh, Reroll for um, space marines. It's cocked eyes. Six again. He's determined to go. He's gone. All right. So that marines. This guy here has two plus six yet. Um, Four. It's all right. Okay. He's fine. So one marine left along the back line. Uh, so cards to trade in. Uh, Kingslayer has been achieved. So we'll roll up for that one. Just the one. Ugh, okay. Uh, and then defend three. We currently have, but it's not been achieved quite yet. And then the secret card was not been achieved yet. So we'll just keep that secret. That's not quite okay. So <laughs> turn finished here. Uh, we're going to turn four now for the space wolves. Okay, so moving here on turn four, uh, secret mission. No prisoners, that's destroying stuff. And then Heroes of Fenris, uh, score on victory point at least one friendly space wolves character begins the fight phase within an inch of an enemy unit. Uh, if two to four friendly space wolves units, or space wolves characters begin the fight phase within an inch, it's D3 victory points. So it's basically getting characters into close combat. And you can see Aaron's move here. And that's, you get rewards for that. So this squad of blood claws pushing through, now on objective number four, and they've claimed that. Uh, and then... Uh, these two characters, the Iron Priest and uh, Ulrich the Slayer, have pushed through to take on the Terminators. Uh, and then crowding on to objective number two with Bjorn and also the Lone Plasma Gunner. And that's it, isn't it? That's what's left here. Yeah, not too much left here for both sides. Shooting phase next. Okay, shooting phase finished. Uh, Bjorn took out two Rubik Marines. Plasma Gun uh, hit came through as well from the Plasma Gunner, but uh, a six rolled. Uh, there for a save across here uh, pistols being fired crack grenades being thrown but no damage at all against the terminators uh, so charges and overwatch next okay so charges taking place here terminators uh, it's a bit tricky but uh, aaron's made it into contact here uh just a bit tricky balancing the models but we're, we're saying they're all in base contact characters have charged along in this direction aaron trying to move through here as far as possible and you can see the blood claws swinging around uh, he's just achieved one of his cards here heroes of fenris uh, getting characters into base contact that's gonna be d3 victory points added to his total he's well ahead of the thousand suns here um so looking healthy enough points wise uh, for the space wars we're going to combat resolution next i can't interrupt play because aaron's going to get to fight first with all of these units yeah thunder hammer terminator first so two attacks berserk charge plus one charge for space marines I'll hit. <laughs> and that six pops an extra hit That's true. <laughs> incredible you can wipe out the squad just with that squad leader they're all wounded oh no minus four as well <laughs> uh, five plus invun saves none. <laughs> He's just destroyed the entire squad. <laughs> Weird, strange. Zinch uh, is weird. They do weird stuff, and they have weird stuff done to them as well. Here, that's a strange result. What a hero! That's how heroes are made, though, in the thick of battle. There he is, buried inside that squad. And he's just single-handedly wiped out an entire squad of Rubik Marines. That's, uh, that's uh, obviously that psychic power can disappear. Presence was no help. So in incredible stuff here. Uh, real moment of heroism there uh, from that Terminator squad lead up. So uh, morale phase. These will be fine. These Rubik Marines just roll up five. Comes a seven for their casualties taken. No problem. And that's it. Okay, both sides shrinking in size. Uh, Aaron can trade in his D3 for Heroes of Fenris. Oh, he's going to roll five or six again. No, it's going to... Oh, it's a three. Okay, two points picked up. Still very good score. And then one for no prisoners. Destroyed a unit. Yeah, another point picked up. Wow. And dumping the secret objective? Nope. No. Okay, turn finished. Thousand Suns, a lot of catching up to do. We'll go on to their turn four next.
Okay, so at uh, movement phase here for the Thousand Suns, cards in play, one secret objective from last time. Uh, no prisoners and blood and guts, so encouraging us to get into close combat and destroy units. So shifting our emphasis in this direction, this is the main threat here, uh, and proving a distraction here for the Thousand Suns. They've got to deal with this, they can't let these units run through our lines. Advanced move made by these, heading off in this direction. Sengals have pushed through, ready to charge. All three characters, uh, Psychers here, uh, Beaker, Chicken Wing and Araman has joined now with a, uh, a four inch advance move on top of his disc move as well. So he's headed off across here. Rubik Marines remain stationary just to maximise their firepower. And then the cultists heading off towards objective number five. Movement done. Uh, psychic phase next. Okay, psychic phase complete. Uh, Smite took out two models from here. Uh, three mortal wounds on the Iron Priest. Uh, Prescience cast on the Rubik Marines. And we restore one of them to play with Time Flux as well. Uh, psychic phase uh, finished. We'll go to shooting phase next. Okay, shooting phase resolved. You can see casualties coming through here. The Rubik Marines, with the help of prescience, re rolling ones for these characters nearby, uh, took out the Terminator and a couple of the Marines from there. Uh, so that's the shooting phase finished. We'll go on to charges and Overwatch next. All right, so charges have taken place. The Zangles have gone in. They may be able to save the day here for the Thousand Suns just to try and keep the last of uh, the Space Wolves from this attack back. So uh, we'll go on to combat resolution next. So 10 attacks into the Blood Claws from these five. Uh, needing threes. No kind of bonuses available to them. Yeah, I reckon they get reroll ones. Uh, it's Thousand Suns units. This is from the Exalted Sorcerers. Yes, yeah, granted an extra hit. Force to wound. Uh, four have made it through at AP minus one. So four saves of four plus on the Blood Claws. Two. Save two. Two make it through. So one lone Marine will remain. Uh, and then uh, 10, 11 attacks here against, we de didn't declare against Ulrich the Slayer, uh, so it's all going in uh, to the Iron Priest. Threes for hits. I think we get rerolls here against characters. It is, yeah, so I'm going to reroll all of the misses. Full hit except one. And we're looking at five wounds coming through. But the Iron Priest might start on a two plus armor save. We'll just double check his stats here. Um, if not, it will be. A two plus. Yeah, so it'll be a three plus armor save then for him. Need a good roll to stay alive here. Yeah, mm, yeah I think yeah. he's gone. Yeah. yeah, two wounds taken. He's already on three taken. So Iron Priest destroyed. Okay, so Aaron's attack's coming back. All hit. All hit. Forced to wind. Three wins. Uh, oh, from him? Uh, oh, here. Ulrich oh, Slayer. Uh, so five plus invun saves. That's on three. Past all of them. Oh, crazy. Weird. Again. Two fives and a six uh, here with the Zangors. They've proved, proved a decent enough reserve. You know, just kept them hidden during the game and then they've, they've moved out the right time here. Ulrich oh, the Slayer, who did heroically intervene. Uh, five attacks with him. Uh, Rerolling ones because of himself. Threes to wound with his weapon. All of them. All oh. wounded. Uh, minus two. Five plus invun saves. Pass two. Okay, three casualties taken on the Zangles. One, two, and three. Acceptable losses here. The unit's done okay. Okay, so combat's resolved. We've since done morale. Zangles have held. They're older one. Uh, Aaron rolled well here as well uh, for the lone marine. So morale holds at this stage. But uh, this is the last of the fighting. It Thousand Suns have the numbers. A couple of models left here. Bjorn stands defiant. Uh, but that's pretty much all that's left for the Space Wolves. But vitally, they're ahead on points. Uh, so cards to trade in. Blood and Guts. Uh, so that's enemy units destroyed during the fight phase. Yes, we brought down the Iron Priest. So a point picked up there. Then no prisoners. One victory point. An enemy unit was destroyed during your turn. Uh, so again, the Iron Priest destroyed just there. So two points picked up here for the Thousand Sons. Oh, not again. Defend two. Defend two. Another. That's, that's why Bjorn moved across, harvesting more points. I thought I was catching up. And Aaron has just tra traded in another two-point card. Well played. Okay, so turn finished. Uh, we'll now go on to turn five for the Space Wolves.
Okay, so uh, it's turn five here. Movement's taken place. At, Aaron's just rushing around, trying to pick up points here. Uh, he knows that he might get tabled here by the Thousand Suns, possibly. Uh, so just trying to rush to, <laughs> to pick up as many points as possible. Uh, so Oric the Slow's backed out of combat. Wouldn't usually, but uh, he's moved on to objective number four, the Lone Marine, just to hold the Zangles up. Uh, and then an advanced move made by Bjorn. Uh, who knows why, but he's shifted over onto this objective across here and then the Lone Marine. Not supremacy. I can read your, your mind here. I reckon it's supremacy he's got. He's tried to grab three objectives all in one go. So that may have given the game away what he's after uh, just there. Movements done. Uh, cards in play. There's one secret card, or supremacy, uh, and then the secure objective number three, which is upstairs. That's my one. And then assassinate killer character. Okay, so uh, on to shooting phase next. Uh, a pistol in close combat. Which Missed. Happens. Dump. Uh, a plasma shot. Plasma into the rubric, switch hits. And, and we'll try and save. No, so a marine slain. We'll take this one out. So shooting phase finished. Resolve our combats and finish up this turn five here for the space horse. Okay, so combat's resolved. Uh, no damage from the marine. Uh, and then he was slain by the Zangles. They've made a consolidation move on top of their piling move as well. So they're heading along in this direction, hunting characters in amongst the containers here. Okay, so here we go. Cards to trade in. Supremacy. Oh, okay. <laughs> D3. You dare roll a five or a six. Oh. Oh, two. oh, about time. Okay. One point scored for that one. But every point counts here. And I'm discarding secure three. Okay, yes, that one up there has been dumped. That's fine. And assassinate remains in play. Uh, turn five now with a thousand suns. Okay, movement for the thousand suns on turn five. Time's ticking away. We're trying to catch up here. Uh, cards in play. The secret card, secure four, which is this objective. Uh, and then power of the carbol. For every two psychic powers I manifest, I get a victory point. So still plenty of psychers available here. It's a chance to try and pick up some points. Uh, shifting away from trouble. Just patrolling at the back here. Moving on to objective number one with these. An advanced move made by these cultists. Uh, Ribbing Marines holding position. A little bit of manoeuvring taking place with our two psychers. Aaron has jumped across. Just a regular 12 inch move. And the Zangles have moved up to take on Ulrich. The Slayer. Movement done. Psychic phase next. All right, so psychic phase finished. Uh, Smite came through. Uh, three mortal wounds uh, on Auric the Slayer. Uh, then uh, a mixture of Smites and Zinch's Firestorm. Another psychic power's come through. I had Aaron on a couple of fives, but down to six wounds left on Bjorn. And tried to resurrect models of Fowd. Uh, didn't roll up high enough for that psychic power. So psychic phase finished. Not too bad. We've gone to shooting phase next. Okay, so shooting phase finished. Araman's pistol wounded, uh, hit but no wound. Uh, had firepower from here took out the lone grey hunter on objective number two, and that is it. Now we put three wounds here. Aaron rolled a triple six on Bjorn the fell handed uh, for his saves. So that is shooting phase finished. Charges, yes. Uh, we have the Zangles to charge in, possibly Araman as well. Yeah, so charges have gone ahead. Aramon's charged in along with the Zangors, so resolve this combat. One wound left, Norik the Slayer, surely he will be destroyed. All right, resolve very quickly. Attacked of Aramon here, and a uh, couple of saves, not past three damage at a time, so Auric the Slayer is gone. Cards to trade in, then Power of the Carball, uh, so two. Secure four, yes. And then... No, not yet with the secret objective. Okay, so turn is finished three cards or three points picked up here for the thousand suns any no. for you no not yet okay okay turn five the game could end here on a one or a two <laughs> no, it goes on all right turn six here uh, i think the space was one of the game to end early but uh, we'll press on it's turn six here just a case of rushing around trying to rake in as many victory points as possible before the bitter end All right, so movement's done. <laughs> it's just Bjorn. It's, it's only Bjorn left on the board. He's moved eight inches. Uh, cards in play. Assassinate. Secure one. Which, which is over there. Is across here, right? Okay. And secure five. Which secure is five, there. which is across the other side. Okay, movement's done. Uh, shooting phase next. Yeah, shooting phase resolved. Two Zangles brought down. One from a laser cannon, one from Bjorn's heavy flamer. Charges and overwatch next. I don't, don't believe this. Charge has gone ahead. He's made it through to Araman. Oh, if one of your cards is assassinate. Yeah. Oh, what's it worth? One point? Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, so uh, you can make your attacks. Here it comes. Aaron's got a 4 plus invun save, so we could survive. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Five tags plus one for charge. Six yeah, sixes are going to pop extra hits here. <laughs> Triple six. Nine hits. What a way to finish. Two's to end, rerollable. Nine four plus in one saves. Oh, you should never have got down from the container. A valiant attempt. Uh, it's only going to be 5d6 damage. 12, 12, 12, 18, 21, 23 wounds. Another Bane Blade virtually taken out here. Aaron's gone. Another Vital Psyker, one of my quicker models as well. So well played by Bjorn. He charged all the units here, so we'll attack back with his angles. Oh, he's just got a command point back as well. Yeah, that's that zero point stratagem. That gets your command point for destroy character. Well remembered, and one command point back. Uh, we're going to re-roll our hits because you're a character actually. Threes. Uh, we don't get death to the false emperor. And it's fives to wound. There's two, minus one, so four ups, and a five up. Ignored. Well done. Okay, turn finished. Morale as uh, is. is a it's a two hole facing and two so morale holds uh, for the zangles and cards to trade in assassinate okay so point picked up for that and finally we can trade in defend four just about held by the zangles so two points picked up for the thousand sons uh turns finished here uh aaron can dump cards if he wants to probably both of those actually yeah okay and then uh we'll now go on to thousand sons turn six Alright, so moving on turn six here for the Thousand Sons, uh, just holding position with the Marines. Uh, Psyker here holding position. Beaker's uh, advanced and gone down. He's now uh, just down there. Uh, this squad's strung out, uh, ready to pick up both these objectives. And this squad uh, of cultists happy to sit on objective number one. His angles are backed out of close combat here onto objective number four. Cards in play, they're in my hands. I had to put them down. Ritual Slaughter, so destroy nine enemy models. It's not going to happen. Defend objective number six, uh, which is that one all the way over there. That's why Beaker's moved. And then secure one, which we've picked up. That's that one just there. Uh, psychic phase next. Okay, psychic phase complete here. Uh, Smite didn't go off, so Bjorn's taken no damage. Prescience cast on these. Restore the model to play with time flux as well. Weaver of Fates cast on the Zangors. And that psychic phase finished. Shooting phase coming up next. Okay, shooting phase is finished. Two wounds left now on Bjorn. Uh, firepower coming down from the Rubik Marines, but not quite enough to destroy him. So, charges, none. We're not going to go after Bjorn here. We're going to leave him where he is. Uh, so, cards to trade. I'm going to dump this one. And this one. And then we get secure one for one point. Any cards to trade in? Uh, none. Okay. So no morale to resolve, so the turn's going to end here, and this is pretty much it, unless we go on to turn 7. So it's the player who went second. 4 plus will get turn 7. <laughs> we do. <laughs> turn 7, Aaron can move beyond, draw some cards. It's going to go quite quickly here, but it's a, it's a last-ditch attempt for the Thousand Suns to try and catch up with the Space Wolves. This game uh, is going right to the wire. Okay, uh, movement's done. There's nowhere ready for him to go. Uh, I don't think any cards have become available for Bjorn to try and fulfil. So we'll just go on to shooting phase and that's it. Okay, shooting phase resolved. Uh, Heavy Flamer caused four casualties here. We've since done morale. Zangles have bust. They're gone. So uh, Bjorn's cleared objective number four. Uh, and then across here, the Laz Cannon took out one uh, of the resurrected Rubik Marines. That's shooting phase finished. Uh, charges and Overwatch next. Okay, so <laughs> the game's petering out here. Uh, five casualties caused, since done morale, busted morale, just lost one model though, so four remain. Uh, it's there for the cultists, and that's it. No cards to trade in, none achievable here, and that's now 
the last of the cards. There's no more that can be picked up uh, for the Space Swarms. So the final turn coming up now for the Thousand Suns. They need a miracle, I think, to catch up with the Space Swarms. All right, so turn seven. Oh, you, you're not going to... Oh, just right, OK, we'll just calm down. This is utterly ridiculous here. What a twist here. It's typical these two factions are taking each other on. There is a chance for the Thousand Suns to haul in a whole load of points here. Uh, so, cards drawn. How appropriate. Vengeance long awaited. If we destroy an Imperium unit, it's D3 victory points. The Wrath of Magnus. Uh, destroy a unit during the Psychic phase. How typical is that of the Thousand Suns? D3 victory points. And assassinate Bjorn's a character. Another D3 victory points available. That's the cards that are in play. They've come from my hand. Uh, so we'll go on to movement here for the Thousand Suns. What a twist this could be if at the last turn of the game the Thousand Suns could snatch victory. We'll see. So movement, I, I don't really need to move. It's down to the psychic phase here. There's two wounds left on Bjorn. We'll see if it can be done. So smite from chicken wing. It goes off. D3 mortal wounds. It is three mortal wounds. Five pluses. <gasps> no, he's gone. Detonation. I don't think it's going to make any difference. No, but Bjorn's removed from play. Uh, finally, the space walls have been tabled gone but it's taken a, a great effort to do it thousand suns have virtually nothing left okay so here we go vengeance long awaited one victory point if at least one enemy unit was destroyed by units from your army during this turn if it's d3 if it's an imperium unit it's one okay aaron's happy enough the wrath of magnus uh destroying a unit during the psychic phase d3 it's two Oh, it's not quite as good as we were hoping. And then finally, assassinate, destroying a character. Uh, no. Three or more. No, it's only one. So it's a guaranteed one. So it's not uh, 3d3. Uh, that is the score. An extra four have been scored. It could be the Space Wolves still have victory here. The game's over. And uh, it's gone right to the very bitter end here. A large amount of points has been hauled in here by both sides. Who is victorious will get an exact score. I've got an inkling it could still be the Space Wolves. Okay, so we've uh, we've added up the points here. So uh, points picked up for Aaron, 19 points for objectives. A massive amount of points being scored. Uh, and then one point picked up for Warlord Slain as well. So 20 points was the total for the Thousand Suns. Uh, victory points picked up uh, here for objectives was 19. With those points coming in at the end. Slay the Warlord is 20. First strike is 21. The Thousand Suns, by one infernal victory point, have snatched victory from the jaws of the wolf here. <laughs> Unbelievable result. So it's gone right to the wire. What a noble uh, effort here from the Space Wolves. And they were ahead throughout the entire game. And then that final cluster of points coming through because the game stretched out into the final stages. Uh, the Thousand Suns just about managed to bring in enough victory points to see them through to victory that could make i think that's going to put the thousand suns at the very top of the league now so uh it, the order should be we reckon and you can check it on the plus channel thousand suns at the top drakari second uh, and then the space wolves third at the moment we reckon that's how it stands uh, but the thousand suns here have, have set quite a high standard the other factions to reach. I reckon the, uh, the Space Wolves will go through. They've got two victories. They picked up a ton of points. So we should see them through into the knockout stage. Uh, and they may well, we may well randomise the draw. They may well have to cross paths with the Thousand Suns again. We'll see. Uh, but here, in this battle, uh, the closest of games, uh, but finally at the very end of Turn 7, the Thousand Suns Chaos Space Marines have caused to rejoice. They've achieved victory here against uh, their old and ancient foe, the Space Wolves. Okay, so we're talking about units of the game. Uh, I'm going to give it to Araman. Uh, he, he made that switch and salvaged this flank. It really helped out that situation. And then he did die ultimately, but uh, his consistent psychic powers did cause trouble uh, for the Space Wolves. And then Aaron's going to give it to the Wolf Lord, uh, the Warlord for the army. Uh, it's an amazing amount of attacks here, smashing aside two Mauler Fiends and leading a brilliant cavalry charge over on this flank. That's units of the game for both sides. Uh, great battle. Keep a look out for more 
battle reports uh, here on YouTube and over on the Plus channel as well. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.